allow install the allow tool for easier deconstructing. The other one that we want to get is the replace one, right? We want to we want to be able to replace like wooden walls with stone walls without having to just delete the old ones. That's a nice one too. Chase sucks. Okay, we're back. We had a couple of raids last night when we played. We got raided by a million snakes at one point. We had a cold snap to deal with. This new pen, the nutrition growth is not great. 399 consumption, 766. We just got too many boomalopes now. We're trying to sell some, right? But it may be that we have to release them to the wild because we got too many. What else? What else can I tell you about this colony right now? We got a lot of wood. We did do a conversion on Chaffinch yesterday and it worked. We want to do it on Sappy next. And we're working on Chickadee as well to do a convert on Chickadee who is currently sleeping. So once Chickadee wakes up... Oh yeah, and um, was it Abigail and Yun Yun that got married yesterday? Or was it Giso and um, Liz That's Me? Someone got married yesterday and they moved in together. Oh yeah, and we have a raid on them coming uh, to get us in a, in a sec as well, right? That we got to be careful of. Okay, let's get Chickadee converted. Chickadee turned into an adult and is wearing a cape. 25%. We get him next time. Um, there is a there is a there is a uh, a two pronged raid, right? It's two factions attacking us pretty soon, in the next like day or so. It's gonna happen. Yun Yun murdered you and took your wife. No, you never got married to Abigail. You guys were you guys were thinking about getting married, Dowie, and then Abigail said, "No, no way, Jose. I'm not doing it." Then you died. Okay. Get your facts straight, Dowie. Jeez. We need a hashtag Dowie facts command so that we can set him straight every time he gets carried away and gets it all wrong. Ah, oh, shit. Not an eclipse. You blew it just like you blew Chase in his vamp prison? Okay, well, I never did that. And, uh, of course, uh, there's also no proof that that was ever done either. Nobody can prove that. Abigail tried to convert Sappy. Good luck with that, Abigail. It's never going to happen. Sappy, the only way we're getting Sappy is uh, a masterful uh, conversion ceremony, right? Otherwise, no chance. I don't think these guys have arrived on map yet. But they are due to arrive pretty soon. We got to be ready for them. I think for the most part we are ready for them. We made this gigantic dining room rec room yesterday as well, which is extremely impressive. It's quite rich. It's extremely spacious. It's got neutral beauty for now, but we'll work on that. But most importantly, it's clean. The nice thing about this thing is that people walk through it to get to um, meals. It means that they walk through it multiple times a day and they get a huge mood boost from walking through it. Also, Psychic Soothe Female. Very nice. Burnish. Burnish. Got all this baby food. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this baby food. People, we don't really want people to eat the baby food. We got two couples, so there might be some babies on the way. Put Sappy in jail? No. No, I will not. You will not catch me putting Sappy in jail. Not now, not ever. I just won't do it. Tell you what we can do, though. Um, if I can make it, which I think should be able to make it, we're going to need... Um, We need some air conditioning in this hospital, right? For when it gets too hot. We'll probably need a heater in here too. Because it's currently minus two degrees. Uh, 
Okay, good. Keep it nice and warm in here. It's a little bit cold in these rooms as well, but we can put vents. Of course, it would be really good if people were able to Metal Gear, Gear Solid out of the vents to escape as well. Could be nice. Okay, that's better. We can keep this place nice and heated. It's out. It's minus one outdoors. So it's a nice temperate 20 degrees inside. Celsius, of course. All right, good. I don't think we need any more um, living space right now. I think the boomalopes will just eventually all start to starve. Maybe, maybe that, maybe we just do it like that. Maybe we just let them starve out, and then uh, let the um, the nutritional uh, thing do its own thing. You know, auto cut. Why do we want to auto cut here? Auto cut plants, dandelions, oak trees, poplar trees, witchwood trees, and stumps. Do having does having trees and pens add to the nutritional value of the the pen? Oh, it just cuts stuff. All right, so having grass does though. So we could put a, a growing zone in here for hay and just let them eat that. Maybe we should do that. Do you think that's wise? Dandelions. Oh, flowers. Dandelions are the best to grow. Dandelions. It's incredible how many animals eat dandelions, you know? Like, look at... Uh, look at Terry, for example. He loves them. Eats them all the damn time. I can eat them too. I know. I, have, I I don't want to though. I choose not to. I think in parts of France they eat them. I think in in parts of France like people just will literally just pick them out of the ground and eat them. Chuck them in a salad. Is this an insult? No, no. It's I'm uh, I'm regurgitating some uh, really interesting factoids that I might have dreamed up i'm not sure <laughs> it's possible that i just dreamed this up i'm not sure <laughs> i thought i'd share anyway though just in case it's true you know am i a guesser holy shit yeah man i'm the biggest guesser you ever like uh okay here's the first raid you ever like just uh you're talking to somebody and it, you, you, you're pretending to know what you're talking about and you just feed somebody just the biggest line of pony that you can even imagine and you get to the end of it and you're like, man, I hope they don't go fact check that because <laughs> like, I did not know what I was talking about. <laughs> I just lied. I just made it up. Yeah, I know. I don't know why people do that. I don't know why people do it. It's like a social thing, right? I mean, I don't do it all the time, but I've definitely done it before. Okay, uh, these guys want to uh, these guys want to tunnel around my defenses. There's quite a few of them as well. The fact that they've landed here probably means it's going to happen down here, right? Or potentially here. Either way, we can be ready. All right, we want to make sure that everybody is in the safety zone first, and we need people with guns. Yun Yun, Sappy has a spear now. Chaffinch doesn't. Malmo doesn't. Chickadee has a shotgun. Teresa has a knife. Okay, let's get these guys over here. It's gonna be tough, actually. We could be dead. It does look like they're gonna go for... Oh no, they're going up here, in fact. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, they're trying to come through here, which means that we want to cut them off. Let's get Sappy in here. 
We also want to get Giso behind here. Yun Yun can go over here for the big sh shots. Yep, that's a good spot for you. One down. Okay, Sappy, get out of the way here. They're coming through. Are they trying to break through down here too? No, they're not. These guys seem to just be stuck, which actually works for us, I think, right? Okay, Liz, that's me. Grab some cover here. Abigail, let's get you on the other side of... Oh, actually, you know what? Teresa, get back here. Abigail, get back here for backup. What happened to Sappy? He's got some itchy frostbite on his right pinky. And his right leg has been bruised by a human fist. Incredible. Incredible. Okay. We'll let these guys do this shooting for now. Let's get Chickadee into position here. Open up. Oh, shit. Okay, yes. Melee attack da Daniel the Coma Child. Shoot Daniel the Coma Child. Hit him. Well, we've been randied. We're dead. Big sapper raid. We have, like, no guns. They just kidnapped two of our guys. Holy crap. Abigail is uh, is loose and fighting back. We might be able to do something here. Giso is 20 hours away from dying. Terry, that is so fucking annoying. Holy shit. Just stop it. Okay, I don't know if we can catch these guys. They're trying to escape with our colonists. We might be able to catch up with them. Oh, look at the running and shooting. At least that's me it has been fully kidnapped, though. Oh, fuck. We're dead. There's, I don't even want to continue this now. We just lost our best fucking colonist, as usual. Always losing the best colonist. Um, there's still, uh, there's still raiders here. This is just too hard. Alright, well, good run. We're done, I guess. Everybody's fucking dead. Uh, we lost our main doctor. And, uh, we're probably not going to be able to, uh, fight these guys. Giso is quite harmed. Believe in Malmo? I'm I'm struggling to believe in Malmo. Okay, Giso's down. Rick is just some sort of like super sniper here. Boom! No, oh, they stole my serum! I need that! No, he's farting all over me. Get him. Nice shot. Incredible. We're in all the... <laughs> he's just got to move to get the shot off. No problem. I think Giso is dead. Yeah, Giso died as well. So Giso died and Liz That's Me got kidnapped. Yeah. Chad, I'm so deflated right now. Maybe the base was just too big or something. I don't know. We, or we just didn't have guns. We didn't have guns and we just didn't have people that could shoot guns either. How did they get in? They're fucking sappers. The dumbest shit in this whole game. Fuck. And there was a, there were too many of them as well. That's only the first raid. We're getting raided again uh, in a sec, I think. 
No, no turrets. I didn't even have them researched. I don't even know that we, that we are that rich. Before we got raided, our colony wealth was 85k. Sorry, it was 88k. It's not that rich. There's no way that we're getting raided by fucking eight sappers at 88k. It was a quest raid? What was the quest? Historical? Combat of Fortune? What star was it? Ship to the stars? No, 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 no. It must be this one. Eight hours. It's a two star. I guess we knew exactly what we were getting. Pest wasters. We knew exactly what we were getting. To be fair, they arrived in transport pods... But none of these guys indicated that they were going to be sappers, right? Maybe that's why I took the thing in the first place? Maybe I was just sleepy. I don't know, but... I gotta feed Terry. He's driving me fucking crazy. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry, I'm back. Um, oh, man, fuck. I don't know. Malmo? Malmo has uh, seven doctoring skills, to be fair. So who do we lose? We lost Giso and Liz, that's me. But the quest is complete. So we're not getting raided again? It was just the pet wasters? Who've now all left? Man, Giso is pretty good too, right? Um, Yun Yun? Yun Yun does have 12 shooting. It's going to take him some time to recover. He's got some severe blood loss. Chef Inch isn't doing too bad. Chickadee's left thumb was shot off. Sappy has a frostbite scar itchy. 
to be fair, I mean, it's it was tough. We don't have any flak vests or anything, right? We're still not, like, there yet with anything. Chickadee's got an infection. Okay, Teresa, you're going to have to clean up some of this blood so that we can treat people. And this, too, please. Hello? I guess you just can't clean up this last bit of blood. All right, it was tended with 59%. Okay, I think she's gonna be fine. Oh, no, you can. Um, fuck, that sucks. <laughs> Just gonna have to bury Giso in here. We might be able to save Liz That's Me at some point. I don't know. What happened to Malmo? And also, Malmo... Oh, Malmo should be able to uh, self-tend, right? So they broke in through here. They broke in through here. are a nightmare. Fuck me, they're so annoying. God. We have so much chem fuel now as well. But the problem is we can't just, we can't kill them all because they'll blow up and burn everything down. I don't even know which ones to sterilize. There's so fucking many of them now. We've almost got microelectronics, so we'll be able to hopefully get some ships in and sell some of this stuff soon. You can euthanize them with a cut? Let's try that and see if it doesn't blow them up. Let's kill this one. It's pregnant. <laughs> Late stage pregnant. Oh, yun yun. The fucking corpse obsession. Oh, this fucking stupid game, honestly. What? Like, why? Why does this fucking happen every fucking time? The fucking corpse obsession. Fuck me. Is that just a random thing? Motherfuck. Okay. The, the euthanized by cut did not work, by the way. the whole colony yes please what a bunch of cunts oh my god Oh, man. I don't know. I still think Randy isn't as bad as 
Cassandra Classic. I think the ramp up is just too much. Also, Cassandra fucks you over. Well, I guess Randy does too, right? They pick these fucking perfect moments to just chuck some other shit at you, right? You've just lost everybody and then... And then uh, fucking, oh, here's the plague. You got five raids in a row last night? Can you turn sappers off? I hate, I, I, I just, I feel like the game is, is fucking hard enough without the, like, you know what I mean? It's so fucking annoying that you can build a, a base with like a, you know, like with a way to handle incoming and then they just go around it. It fucking drives me nuts. And it happens all the fucking time too. Like it shouldn't happen this fucking early in the game. Infestations, I don't mind. Like you can, you can kind of handle them or work around them or whatever. You can certainly make it so that they don't just happen in your base. But like with sappers and stuff, what, you, what can you do? I guess you just gotta find like a like. I feel like we got a good spot here, but again, we're let down by just this little hallway, right? If this if this was connected, if these mountains were connected, then their only way in would be either up here or down here. And it might be a bit easier to handle. But even having said that, that raid was enormous for what we, we had. And the only reason I took it is because it didn't look like there was going to be sappers. But then we got sappers. The list of all the raiders didn't have any anyone that would indicate that we were getting sappers in the raid. Yeah, I don't have turrets. I haven't researched them. I don't have any fallback defenses. I don't, I don't even have anybody with decent guns. I think I got too many genies as well. This probably doesn't help. All right. Let's get Giso buried. <laughs> Next to Dowie. Alright. Let's do a funeral for him as well. We don't have our moral guide. She was kidnapped. Who can be our new moral guide? Malmo? Oh, she's not even on our thing. Fucking Malmo, you fucking stupid asshole. She's not even part of our ideology. Oh, who has the highest social? Of course, the person with the highest social isn't even part of our ideology. A bio-coded assault rifle, great. It's totally useless. Let's get Yun Yun this charge rifle at least. Sappy's got the spear. Chefinch. Sure. Malmo needs a melee weapon. <laughs> Baldo the worker just had his head eaten by a cat. Is very dead. Get Dowie to do it, even dead, he has the highest social. No, the killbox setup isn't. I'd, I'd actually argue the killbox setup's fucking useless because if you're just getting non stop sapper raids, who cares? What's the point? It's not necessary. It is good for like manhunter packs and other shit though. Big big tribal packs that don't have sappers, it's pretty good for too. 
I don't know if the second layer of walls helps. What does it do? They'll just they they'll, they'll just chip through the second layer. Them getting through the walls is is only part of the problem. Them getting through the walls with like fucking a million guns and grenades is the other side of the problem. Double walls helps with the AI. What, it just tricks them into not going there? Yeah, better fighters take a while to 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 build up though. And it takes especially long to, to arm them and stuff as well, right? I think we've also lost all of our good researchers. Oh, actually, no. We got Chef Finch and Teresa, who are both decent. But Liz, that's me, was uh, was our best for sure. Sappers will just go for single walls. What? So you just purposely leave single walls with traps behind them? I guess we just need better better fighters, like you said, but I don't know, fuck. I, I feel like this with this game you can come up with a million ideas of how to counter something and there'll always be something else. Right? There's no like there's no perfect way of dealing with anything, it feels like. And, and and until you start getting into the into the realms, I, even the kill box to an extent, right, is just exploiting like the the dumbness of the AI. Sapper AI designed to reach a random colonist's beds, leaving bedrooms on the outer perimeter can help slow them down. I don't know. I, I haven't had much luck with melee. I always feel like me uh, melee... Well, to be fair, we have no armor. We have no armor. These guys are just wearing t-shirts and dusters. And simple helmets that we've started working on. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe we let our wealth get too high for how poorly we were we were armed. I don't know. We've recovered a little bit. I guess we just... I just we just got to get some more people in try to do it that way how much uh nutrition consumption is eight and growth is 4.2 we have way too many boomalopes but i just don't know how to deal with <laughs> with them i guess we got to sell them teresa's researching if we get micro electronics soon potentially we could do something It's all about the multipliers on damage incoming from traits. I don't know what that means. I actually just don't really like the combat in this game. It seems like it, it's like I don't even know how people do no pause. Like I, I have to pause all the time. It's so frustrating. Chickadee is having a major break because she's depressive. High life is missing. She's been insulted. This is the the kid one, right? We have no way to convert her now either. Looking at people who are actually part of uh, our thing, we've got. Chefinch, Yun Yun, and Teresa. No social on Yun Yun. No social on Chefinch. And yeah, great. So Chickadee is just uh, having some some sort of ideological crisis. Like every one of her debuffs are to do with the fact that she's following um, some other ideology.
kill some boomlops in the rain. We have to, um... Move. Oh my fuck. Malmo's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't even shoot a boomalope. What are they all doing in there? There's nothing even in there. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> oh my god, they're trying to... They were trying to administer first aid to the down boomalope. Oh, Malmo was actually a decent colonist. <sighs> oh. And yeah, boomalopes really are the fucking pits, aren't they? Fucking horrible, shitty animals. With the with the fucking big growth things on them and stuff and they oh my god I hate that they blow up as well oh my god you can't even euthanize them or anything they just blow up oh. Releasing them into the wild is just going to release them into this area that I consider part of my base. They're still just going to be there, being annoying, and then they'll just go mad and attack everybody as well. Look, it, it actually recovered it as well. It was patched up, I think, by Malmo, who was uh, also our best uh, doctor as well. We're left with a doctor. Our high skill doctor is skill five now. Christ. She took a bullet for the boomalope. She was shot through the heart whilst tending to the uh, to the boomalope. Her heart was destroyed by Yun Yun with this <laughs> this charge rifle. Oh my lord. Well, Yun Yun and, well, we lost a, a full couple. Giso and Liz, that's me. And Yun Yun lost his wife, right? Abigail, oh, or was Abigail kidnapped? Liz, that's me, and Abigail were kidnapped, right? We don't have them in uh, sarcophagus, nothing. Giso and... Oh, my God. So those wasters kidnapped. Abigail was actually a pretty good colonist, too. Like, not bad. There's a chance they will return. 
I don't know what uh, I don't know what the options for returning are. Do we have any cooks left? Sappy and Teresa is learning to cook. Sappy's actually a pre pretty decent cook. We've lost a lot of our construction as well. We still have two good builders, but we had way more builders. Um, growers and plant cutters. We still got mining. We still got research. Chaffinch and Teresa are both uh, genies, right? All right. Well, let's just see. I mean, maybe that's just maybe it's just a big setback for now, but you know, things will things might get better. What happened to them? Oh, they got in a fight. They started a social fight. Do 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 do. Things can only get better. Okay, good. Let's get this research done and let's get some trade ships coming by, right? So that we can make some money, sell some of this stuff, gear up a little bit. Oh, we needed to, oh, another uh, mod that we need to get. We need, so for the next run, we need the replace mod and we need the one where more ships come by, right? More trade ships. And allow tools, what does allow tools do again? I can't remember. It lets you vein mine, so you mine every ore connected. All right. Danny's stash of supplies. Field hand pain stopper. An unknown threat. I would love to get that stuff, but we just don't even have the, uh, the medical now. <laughs> so many boomalopes. Too many, too many boomalopes. So much fuel as well. Gosh, we have so much fuel. <laughs> oh, man. On the plus side, the boom loops are, are booming. Yeah, I, I only want one. I think uh, I think you're right, Erica. Just, just one is fine. You don't need more than that, right? Celebration of promises ritual. Man, I'm not up for doing a ritual at all. I don't want to do reform points. So I just don't care anymore. I'm just done. We don't ha even have a a, 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 a a preacher person. No, we don't have anyone in our religion with any social. That's the downside with the genies, right? They're good, like, researchers and stuff, but they have really shit social. You can't do anything with them. I'm just waiting for this research to finish. Who's our big researcher? Teresa and... Chaffinch. Can't prioritize research because it's a long-term task. I guess they'll just finish all the other stuff first. I know, we got way too much stuff in storage. It, we, it's, it's happened because I don't have any people I can trade with nearby. The closest uh, trade is like eight days away.
I haven't queued up any more jobs on purpose, just so that we can try to finish this, right? Teresa's intellectual is going bananas right now. Look at this. It's so close. It's like a sliver away. Hey, look. It's the plague. <laughs> Don't treat them. Is it possible to say we don't want any of them treated? Health? No medical care. Defaults? Neutral? Oh, you can't do it for animals, right? Is this one doesn't have a health condition? That one's got the plague. That one's got the plague. Don't treat this one either. There was like five of them with the plague, right? Don't treat this one. It's pre pregnant early stage. Okay, leave all the ones. Oh, did he get the plague as well? No, okay. All right, great. This colony was doomed the moment it was named after Chase. Yun Yun is the new chase. Yun Yun, he Yun Yun did fuck up big time. There's no denying it. There really is no denying that. Okay. One boomalope down. Perfect time for it to stop raining. Oh, at last. Okay. Microelectronics is done. We can finally start getting um we need drug, uh, drug production now. Zone? Expand the home area? Fire! Nice. Okay. Oh my god, that boom, that another boomalope has given birth. We're gonna have lots of fire in a minute. So these boomalopes are gonna start, uh, are gonna start dying. Wait, dude, are they eating these dandelions? We've got 155 dandelions up in here. It's pretty good. All right. Misk, we need a orbital trade beacon. And we need a comms console. Nice. Okay, we're open. We're open for trade. Come on, baby. Uh oh. Okay, I don't think they're not sappers, so they'll just come through the traps, which is fine. They're gonna prepare for a little bit. Just make sure we're in the safety area only. It's a low value raid since someone died last time. It does seem low value, yeah. There's not that many people. Well, one person died and also two people were kidnapped. Does that count towards it as well? Mountain door is fine. That's fine. A cat ate somebody's head as well. That makes a huge difference too. A 
Okay, nice. He dropped 152 bucks. This guy just dropped 152 bucks on the ground. You don't know if kidnapping counts? If you create an army of rats to tank, you will never lose another person. I think, um, I mean, we got this cat, but I think we also need to, um, we might need to start thinking about getting some doggies and stuff, right? Some dogs. Make sure that the cat doesn't sleep. The cat's sleeping in the freezer. It's minus nine in there. Just loves the air con. Turn boomalopes into missiles? I don't think you can train them up to that extent. Oh shit. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Don't you dare do it. Don't go near them. Let it play out. Okay. It's a real inferno out here now. <laughs> oh my god. Sappy, don't go near that. It's too hot. Okay, a little bit of rain now would be aces. Just the, this, the tiniest bit of rain. Come on, Randy. We need a we we need to have a huge rainfall. It's another one about to go as well. Look. Nice. Very good. Good firefighting, everybody. Well done. Nobody got injured. We lost a couple of crops, though. Well, at least we didn't lose the base. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> uh, we want to expand the home area to cover these areas too, right? Um, not so much this though. Or out here at all. Since it's mountain. We just want to cover the walls where we can. Um, we don't want to auto expand the home area anymore either. Yeah, that's perfect, right? Ish. So if there's fires and stuff, they'll put them out inside the home area so that we don't lose all this. Okay, let's slaughter these little ones while we're at it. Good job, chickadee, you dummy. Go slaughter the other one, too. She's just uh, just burning a little bit. It's fine. And we'll just keep this one. Boomalope 3. Training. 
<clears throat> it's uh this one is um a two year old female boomalope. We'll call it Milky. Nice. He's fine. Look, he's just got a little bit of a burn on his torso. All right. Now we just got one. We we it's it's not all bad, chat. We managed to solve our our boomalope problem and then some. Finch, what are you doing? Oh, it's bio-coded. This is a machine pistol here. I don't know. Shotguns are pretty nice, though, aren't they? All right. We have to uh, repair the pen put our animals back in there and now we got scope for some other animals right should be nice maybe we can get some um maybe we get like a muffalo or two in there some alpacas it's quite a big pen like uh it's probably pretty good right we don't have advanced combat Boomlope program? No. True, we don't. This is one of the things that we are lacking. Big time in the colony. An ally needing help. Hippopotamus Loco, Grand Chief of the White Crag Pact, is requesting a favor. His friend, Finch Minyoka, is interested in learning about other cultures, and he wants you to host him at Chase's Huge Butthole for 11 days. Finch will not do any work. Finch appreciates quality accommodation. Okay, good. We get a reinforced barrel. We get a quick study gene pack or a psychic shock lance. I guess let's get the reinforced barrel for when it's mortar time. We got lots of space. There's not a, the, It's not going to be a sleeping spot on the floor. There's a nice room for him. Okay, Finch is here. Finch is here. I'm not crazy about Finch's attire, honestly. He looks like he's wearing a, a Miss World sash and nothing else. Ew. Yeah, we have we do have lots of empty rooms now, yeah. We've we've experienced many deaths recently. Too many deaths, in fact. Structure. Let's get some slate wall in here. Oh, actually, hang on. What do I want to... I don't mind the jails how they are. I quite like the hospital how it is right now. It really will need to be bigger at some point. But it doesn't need to be bigger yet. I guess we want to really sort out this sort of crafting room that we've got now too, right? Extend it down a little bit. Oh, this stuff is in uh, too much range of the, uh, the thing, right? Okay, let's do this. How many um, things is this? Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. 
I think it. I think it, the the walls cover it, right? But not this way. So we need to have some pillars. Okay, Milky and Walker are both in the animal pen, and their their combined nutrition consumption is 1.71. Nutrition growth in here with these dandelions. We can expand this out a bit, actually. Plant more. Nutrition growth is at 4.21. Does this go up as we plant dandelions or is dandelions grow or is it is it just the size of this pen is always going to be 4.21? Yunyun gets plants experience for doing this. Turn off cutting. Okay, I've done it. So they can eat the dandelions on top of the nutritional stuff. Okay, I see. So it's never going to say more than uh, more than what it has, right? If you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean by that? Wait, is that central? Zone? Orders? Plan? Five? Six? So this has to move over one. That's better. Oh, there's some blight on our corn plants. Oh my god, yun yun. That was so quick. Jeez, he really just dashed right over to fix that. What a, I know, what a machine, eh? What a guy. In, just incredible. Alright, let's haul some of this stuff in. We need some. Some of this as well. All right, blight, no thanks. We managed to harvest a bit of cloth as well. Yun Yun still on your shit list? Well, Yun Yun did kill Malmo, which was less than ideal. Really, really less than ideal, honestly. Kind of the kind of the worst thing. Just brutal, really. Just really brutal. You'll never forgive. <laughs> Momo, no! Momo, no! Yeah, the tourists have a really nice spot for themselves. You're right. Uh, one thing we could do is uh, actually check this out. We could make a wall like this so that when people come out here to do stuff, they won't see any of these bodies, right? We can just hide it in here like this. You still think about the story where your other daughter just said, Bed? <laughs> The baby, uh, the baby got super annoyed the other day because um, my uh, my older daughter was having a bath, and uh, you have to be careful around the baby because she loves having a bath. So you can't really say bath. You either have to spell it out or hint at the fact that a bath is happening, right? Because otherwise, she just goes me, me, me. She points. 
she wants to have a bath. So we were being really careful not to say bath. And then uh, my wife started giving my, my, or started running the bath for my older daughter. And uh, the baby heard it. And she's like standing at the bottom of the stairs looking up, going, Bath me! Oh! <laughs> Just started bawling. Honestly, had the biggest fucking meltdown. And it lasted for like two hours. Just wanted a bath that. I've never known a child want to have a bath that badly. Like normally, it's like they hear the bath running and they're they're long gone. She was just crying and crying and crying, like just inconsolable. And and how did I get her out of the uh, out of the out of the the days that she found herself in the inconsolable days? Good old Melmo. I got him. I kept. I was. I was. I was going for it. I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, Elmo's getting really upset. Oh, Elmo doesn't like to to see other people upset. Look at Elmo. He's gonna start crying. <laughs> and then slowly it just started to work. And then she was like, oh, Momo, Momo, no. And then she just forgot all about it. Yeah, the baby was in a psychotic daze for sure. Last straw, <laughs> no bath. Yeah, I know. Fucking kids, eh? They are crazy. They are just crazy. All right, this is just going to be now an extension of uh, this, like, crafting area that we got here. We might even just put, like, some storage in the middle and then put more crafting down in here. We don't need all this space right now considering we don't have that many people but the idea is hopefully we'll get some more people or make some more people would be nice we don't have any couples left though why is it named after a swedish town i don't know i think she said bluey the other day as well she really likes bluey but like she can't pronounce proper words right she's just bluey, bluey. I'm sure she said it though, but um, she can do like the uh, she can do the theme the the theme of it right. Well, my son does the theme, so he turns up and he's like, "All right, you ready?" She goes, "Yeah." And then she she goes through the whole thing, Dad, <laughs> and then he does the second part of the song, Mom. <laughs> it's good. It's like a double act. It's really good. Yun Yun, what are you doing, you clown? I think he was walking out the door when the z went and now has caught fire. And is now leaving the colony to deal with the f being on fire. He's got a burn on his neck, his torso, his left arm, his right leg, and his right hand as well. It's a lot of burns. What a dummy. You can't not sing the theme song to Bluey. Ah, oh, it's good. It's good fun. They're good fun babies and kids and stuff, but um, when you have too many of them, it really... Uh, you notice it more, right? Like, when we just had one kid, you get to the end of the day and you'd be pretty tired, but you could just pretty much, like... With one kid, they don't have other kids to, like, uh, bounce off of or anything either, so it's it's not so bad. But the more kids you have, the, the more they work to conspire against you as well, right? And then when you're really tired, you've just had enough, and you've got three of them just all working together to, to, to take you down to Chinatown, and you know that that's what they're doing. Oh, it's the worst feeling. You stopped at one. It's, it's, a, it's probably a good move. Milky, what? Milky, you were pregnant? Okay, who did Milky give birth to? A male. Sorry. Sorry, Milky. Sorry for your loss, but I'm taking it out. There's no way. We're net we're ne we're never gonna be in this situation again where we have too many boomalopes. It's not gonna happen. As soon as Yun Yun's feeling better. No. Even before that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have four. Oh, Jesus. I don't even... I, I, I don't know how I do it with three. I don't know how you do it with four. It's too much. It's too... It's too... Too many people for one or two people to handle, I feel like. You know? It's just way too much. We're researching drug production. It's going real slow. Once we get a few more people in, we should be good, though, right? All right, Chad, I gotta go, um... I gotta take a break. I gotta go have some lunch, and, uh... I gotta go see if I have to go pick up my kids. I might not have to, but either way, I have to eat. When is Mrs. Levis gonna want to have number four? Jeez, I don't know. You're 37 with no kids. Feels good sleeping until 12 some days? I bet, yeah. I, I don't even remember what that was like. Sleeping until 12... If I slept until 12 now, I think I would I would feel sick. I'm, I'm completely, completely out of practice sleeping until 12. Your your wife wants to have another and your son is almost eight months? That's, um, I mean, it's not so bad. If you have them closer together as well, they, it, like, two, I think two is perfect, honestly. Two, two fairly close together... As they, they're growing up and they're they're pretty close together, it's not bad. It's really not bad. It's hard at first when they're both really small. But I think uh I think kids really sort of um I think a big milestone for kids is kinda when they turn three. When they turn three and then they, they're they're just about to like go to nursery school. It's uh they're they're a lot more robust, you know, they talk a lot more, you can reason with them a lot more. They're 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 a lot more fun, but like in different ways. Like when they're babies, they're really fun because you know you can just you can just do really dumb, make dumb noises and make them laugh and stuff like that. And that that does persist when they get a little bit older. But um, I don't know. You you feel like you get like a bit of like normal life back when they're when they're about three. But the first couple of years, your your life it, it's such a culture shock. It just feels like it's crazy, right? We had twins, which was hard, but it's good. They have each other to play with now that they're three. Yeah, it, as they get older and they have each other to play with, it's huge, right? Like, uh, like my older kids now play, go like they play Switch together and stuff. They play like uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse and Minecraft and stuff together, and it's great. You know, like uh, you you see them and you you know you think back to when you were a kid and you played video games with your brother or whatever. It's nice, you know, and they want to do it, and they're it, it's it's so like you know you, they play Switch together for like an hour or something, and it's it's like oh great, you can have like a bit of a breather, right? They're just like, they're plugged in for like a bit, and you you don't have to field a million questions or fetch them a million things, you know. If you enjoy fatherhood, it's rewarding. I I I do enjoy it, but. I mean, there's other things that I enjoy as well, and it's a it's a balance thing, you know. Sometimes I don't really enjoy it, but the times I don't enjoy it are are when three kids are all puking in perfect harmony and and stuff like you know what I mean. Like the the really tough times, I just think, why why did I do this to myself? Um, but on the whole, I I enjoy it. It's good. Makes having kids sound bad, making me rethink. Well, I mean, it's like it's like anything, you know. Like, I don't know. It has good days and it has bad days. Just the bad days just seem like crushingly bad sometimes. <laughs> oh man, yeah. When they're when they're te teenagers and stuff, it's a whole different ball game. It's like it's it's different stuff to deal with, you know. Like, uh, like my son is like on the cusp of becoming a teenager, and he's he's pretty like, I like I feel like he's like he's still young for his age, which is nice, but he's getting a bit sassy as well, you know. Your oldest turned eighteen this year, and it made you sick to your stomach. Fuck yeah, eighteen is kind of nuts, eh? Oh. Gets that from his sassy ass dad. Okay, listen, I'm gonna go have some sassy lunch. I'll be uh, I'll be right back. Uh, like two minutes, and we'll carry on. Okay. All right. See you in a sec. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. 
Hello? Um, I'm back. I got tea. Not only that, I got tea. Um, Erica, look, I got the uh, the milky mug as well. Nice, eh? Thank you so much. I'm back. I made it. Um, what the heck? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. What that? Um, wait. Have I built a roof area? Oh, yes, I have. Okay, nice. We can, um, clear, remove roof area. Wait, no. Ignore roof area here. We'll ignore this one as well. This was the scene of a great tragedy in our colony. <clears throat> okay. Onwards and upwards, I guess. Yes. We've, we've had a bit of a setback, but... Can we recover? Who knows? Uh, let's try anyway. We'll try our best. We got plenty of food. That's for sure. We got people who can cover most of the jobs. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, I wasted Dowie for the second time, okay? Have I considered a generic low priority stockpile so that you know what things are missing from my shelves? No, I haven't, actually. I'm not very good at the whole inventory management thing. Maybe I, maybe I, something I need to get better at. Probably something I need to get better at, realistically. You know, in order to thrive. Strive to thrive. Thrive to... I, you know, I was having a thought. Not a shower thought, because I didn't take a shower while I was away. But uh, it was more of a standing in my kitchen, feeling angry, and eating my lunch thought. Um... I wonder sometimes if, like, you don't need to actually fight when you're raided. I wonder if we just make, like, a bit of a panic room and we hide people in there for the tough raids and just let them steal, like, because I noticed that the raiders were stealing, like, the healing serum and, and some shit like that. Just let them take it and go. And uh, if they do really want to uh, come and get my colonists or whatever, then we can just hold out in a, in a room and fight them there. They'll just burn everything down? No. Do, I mean, will they kill themselves in the process? So if you made your whole colony out of wood and you put barricades everywhere, it would take your guys a long time to move around. But if raiders tried to burn down your colony, they would kill themselves. I think, I think you get uh, random missions to rescue your kidnapped colonists later. I think it can happen. We need somebody of our religion with some social that can potentially ease our people's minds, you know? The geothermal may get set on fire. Oh, really? It's not shielded at all right now. It is not protected. So what, they might set this thing on fire if they get in? Do you think the fact that it's not shielded may work to our advantage, though? Like, if we if a raid comes in, they might just head right for it. And if they do, we fuck them up. Invest in fire foam poppers. 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 We need a ship. We need a uh, we need a ship to uh, to come and and do some rip roaring trade with us. Now that would be perfect, right? That's the kind of thing that we need. We could also do with melting down some slag that's laying around outside too, right? Indiana Jones style trap system. I guess having some turrets dotted around would would be useful. Put them at really awkward spots that you know they can't get any cover from or whatever. Well, I guess it's kind of hard to do that because like I was thinking maybe put one around here, but then they could get cover here, right? And they will take cover.
Do 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 do. We're having another party. Nice. Okay, sure. You like to use tough animals to tank and distract? Yeah, I think we need to start looking at taming some uh, some bigger animals, right? We got room for pens and stuff here. Some travelers passing by. Oh shit. There's been a roof collapse. That was close. We almost got. So they. They left up the pillars where they, where they were needed. Interesting. But if we put a pillar here, it'll be fine to rebuild the roof. We almost lost Sappy there as well to a roof collapse. Unbelievable. My own stupidity once again. I can't believe it. Uh, bills, shred a mechanoid. No, okay, it's fine. Do, 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 do. I like putting the uh, the power conduits in the walls. I don't like it when you can see the wire like on the floor, like out here. I hate that. We'd have good enough coverage, I think, in here with the walls, right? Yeah, it's fine. There's no coverage in the in this part though. Power. Oh no. So maybe we just have a line going like this. There's a mod for subsurface conduits. Oh, maybe I need to get that too. We're get we're we're every time we do a playthrough we get more ideas for mods that we would like, right? Which is it's a good thing. Wood. I don't think we have anybody who who has the taming skills to um to tame the boomalopes, right? Okay, we have a exotic goods trader on foot. See if we can trade them some stuff, buy some stuff. We got a little bit of money. Like the tiniest bit of money. The place is getting pretty messy. Oh my god. Chefinch just got struck by lightning, I think. Oh no, maybe not. I think it was just the... She got burnt by some fire there. Uh, who's our who's our main person now for... Social? It's not Yun Yun. It's not Sappy. Chickadee has one. <laughs> My god. We, our highest social in this colony is one social. That is brutal. So we have no warden except for Chickadee, who is the only person capable of developing social. All right. Um, package survival meal. No. Components. They got 10 components. Advanced components, hyperweave, glitter world medicine, plasteel, 134 plasteel. They'll buy this elephant tusk. Sure, 49 bucks. Bionic leg, bionic spine. 
Side trainers for Flash Storm and, and Stun. Uh, gene packs for... There's nothing here that helps with social, right? We don't need any of this stuff. Very sleepy gene pack? You think it's worth getting um, a small, even tempered dog originally bred to hunt rats? It later became a show and companionship animal. Some consider it useless, but the mood boost it gives by nuzzling can outweigh the cost of feeding it. Should we get a dog? Let's get a female Yorkshire Terrier. Maybe, um, maybe the cat and the dog can uh, can do it. I guess it's good to train, get animal handling uh, skills trained up with the dog. I don't know, buy a Yorkshire Terrier. If we had a whole army of Yorkshire Terriers that could do hauling and shit for us, that could be kind of good, right? Will the tiny dog haul? I don't know. We're about to find out. Animals, Yorkshire Terrier 1, stay in the safety zone. Um... Yorkshire Terrier 1, training. Nah, it can't rescue or haul. It can guard and attack, though. Okay, let's train it. No. Let's call it Dr. New. Okay. We got a dog named Dr. New now. We're gonna train it up. Somebody, somebody should be able to train it. With handling? Chickadee's got five and Yun Yun's got six. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Walker the the cow is still being milked, yeah. The milking. Can you train a raccoon? Can a raccoon do hauling? What about a turkey? What about a lynx? Can a lynx do hauling? What's wrong with Yun Yun? Everything. Decent dining room and decent rec room. It's because it's so filthy, right? Nobody's cleaning it right now. <laughs> In your current game, you have 11 huskies who do all of your, your hauling. That's good. Teresa. You're doing great, Dad. Cooking. Woof, woof. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. bark. I'm gonna take a piss on Dowie's grave. Morph, morph. Morph, morph, morph. Okay, we want cleaning even before research. Hey, Dr. New, don't do it. There's not much room for a piss in there. Um, it's you're, You'd be pissing on other graves as well. Uh, thanks for the 10. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Misc. We need um, furniture. An animal bed. Made of light leather. Okay, let's make them in here. It's fine in here, right? It's like a barn. Cleo could have hauled. Uh, it was too early in my uh, in my return to RimWorld career at the time to uh, make good use of Cleo, right? Remember the remember the um, the colony we had where the guy left and we had a pet warg and it attacked him immediately, and then bit his head off. Was that Ali? Was that the last one? I don't know. Okay, we want uh, Da Vinci in this one.
And El said that some time ago, he said there's no way that raising kids is going to get any harder than the first year. It's not harder. It's just different challenges, right? But the first year is pretty brutal. So far, nothing. So far, like uh, my oldest kid is is 11, going on 12. And so far, the hardest thing we had to do was his first year because that was our first child. That was that was the the toughest. The first year of our second wasn't too too bad, and the first year of our third, I don't think anybody really paid attention anymore, you know. But the your first kid, the first year of your first kid, mm. is pretty brutal. Okay, Yun Yun is just having a sad wander. At least he's safe, though. Yeah, the, the wall lights are a mod, yeah. It's a really good, it's actually just called wall lights. It's really nice. We got a couple of mods on this run. We have another mod installed where, um, called Run and Gun, where people can shoot while moving. Which sounds like a, like a little bit OP, but there's there's uh, aim penalties when, when they're on the move. But it's handy, because that... If you're new to RimWorld and you played a little bit, you'll know that how annoying it is to try to run away from a squirrel or something. You know what I mean? So now at least they can uh, they can shoot at the squirrel while they're running away. <clears throat> and enemies can do it as well. True, yeah. There is that. There is that about it. Danny's stash of supplies. It wasn't really worth doing, though, was it? These guys are hostile. This is Moi Moi Mormo. Moi Mormo. A hostile faction. You tell them to stand their ground when they're under attack. Ours, uh, ours flee at the moment for the most part. We want them to it to stand their ground and attack, though. We just need some more people. But surprisingly, we're getting through some of these jobs. Starting to haul some um, slate in as well, which means that we could start thinking about putting this floor down. <clears throat> it might be time to have a mech army, yeah. Even if it's just people doing cleaning or whatever, it would be nice, right? Little little cleaning mechs. Some horses have gone mad. Just keep everybody indoors. Let these horses try to figure it out. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Maybe they can't figure it out, you know? Fabricator mechs are pretty good late game. That sounds pretty good, actually, yeah. We could definitely do with uh, some fine meals, but we're going to need s some meat for that. One of these horses, both of these horses are injured from the traps. We killed one? Oh, nice. All right, good. We got some horse meat.
Chickadee is hunting with a pump shotgun. Next game we got we gotta get the mod common sense to fix the hauling issue. Common sense is oh that's the one uh I think we had that one installed before, right? That's the one where they will do hauling on the way back from uh, doing jobs and stuff. Like, say you send them out to do construction somewhere, they'll just haul stuff back on their way instead of, like, just finding a completely different task to do. You should check out a mod called Actum, which lets you have a bit more control over survivors when in combat. They will also clean a doctor's surgery before ripping out someone's heart, etc. So it's nice and clean. Uh, that is handy, actually. It does make sense for them to do stuff like that, right? At least I think it makes sense for them to do that. We're not making any more um, helmets. Because we have one. We want one that's 51 to 100 and normal to legendary, right? Teresa's on it. So we have another one somewhere, but it's probably bad. This is a good one. So if this makes it to a shelf, somebody ought to wear it. Instead of the cowboy hat. We got three people with cowboy hats on. Oh yeah, there you go. Look, Sappy's got it. Okay, perfect. Nice. Another problem solved. Incredible. Oh, good. Rearming the traps as well. Very nice. You should get P music next next run as well. It has some real bangers that fit perfectly into the game. Why did I slaughter you, Rapassi? We slaughtered all of the the boomalopes. It was too much. It's just too much. We got too much chem fuel. Man, we're, we've been waiting for a ship forever. We just need one little ship to turn up. It would be perfect. This thing goes big, right? When it's ready to ready to die. takes forever just in time with the rain really good All right, who's going to be our um who's going to be our mechanoid person? Someone. Okay. There's a scyther coming down. Send Yun Yun Yun, Chickadee, and Chiffinch out here to deal with this thing. Mm. 
the mechanoid is attacking. Run. Oh, shit. Okay, nice. Um, okay, he's going to need some repairs. Let's get this. We extract the uh, the link. And let's haul it back too. All right, good job, everybody. Chickadee is a little bit injured. Oh, transport pod crashes Wiggins who's got melee and is a baseliner a nudist <coughs> animals and melee will die in 12 hours okay let's rescue them see what happens it's a long trek we still got many hours left before they die, though. Let's get them back. All right. All patched up. Perfect. She might join. We might get a, a nudist in our colony. She's got three social as well, which is, well, <laughs> better than one, which is, <laughs> is what we have right now. It's way better than one. All right, let's go do a little tiny bit of hunting. Just a, t just a smidge. Finch and Teresa fell in love. Finch doesn't even belong to this colony. That's nasty. That's nasty. How dare they? Now he's got to stay? I don't know if that if it works like that, actually. <laughs> I gotta break some of this stuff too. Can't deconstruct it. I guess we're not in a mad rush to do that. So now we got the mech link. Do we want to make somebody uh, a mech person? Problem is though, is we're gonna get all this toxic waste. So annoying. The toxic waste is pretty annoying. Oh. Finch's uh, shuttle has arrived. Off he goes. <laughs> Goodbye, my lover. <laughs> oh, he got the reinforced barrel. It's nice. Mechanator ideally needs to be a good crafter. Okay. No, oh, parting. For me, rescuing port. A prisoner held by Mebupol Coalition has managed to steal a radio and call you. Port is being held at a camp near Chase's huge butthole under armed guard. Rescue him and he will join your colony. He's a 39-year-old low-wage worker. He says that there's an enemy outpost at the site guarded by three pigs and there may be an unknown threat. If you miss this opportunity, you may never hear from port again.
The prisoner camp is quite far away. For us, it's going to take, oh, 1.2 days. What the hell? And the last time I tried to do this, it said it was going to take like seven days to get here. Oh, you know what it is, actually? It was this. We can't go to this town unless we have like a king person, right? Three pigs. Okay, who are we taking with us? Dr. New? No. Da Vinci? No. I mean, we could take Yun Yun, or we could sell, we can send Sappy to kill three pigs. I don't know. Killing three pigs and an unknown threat? Oh, man. If only we had uh, transport pods, right? <laughs> we probably need three guys to go. That's too many guys. We can't afford to send that many guys, right? We don't know who, what port is all about. We could deconstruct this ship. If you send two, one to fight, and a medic? I don't know. We don't have... We don't have what it takes. I can't fight three pigs with two people. We know exactly how that's going to end. You know exactly where that one's going to go. There was a zzt. Not the worst zit, honestly. You don't mind like a little fire outside. There's a wild man that's wandered, wandered in. His name is Hexax. Hexax is a waster who's pretty good at construction and mining. He's a gourmand, he's psychically deaf, and he has a chemical fascination, and he's incapable of intellectual and artistic. I lied, this guy sucks. I don't want this guy at all. Waster. Waster of my time. I will not tame him. I'm rude. Well, you know what? Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Tame him with a charge rifle. Oh man, I'm tempted. What's he gonna do? He's gonna try to break in here and eat all my stuff. He's gonna try to come through my maze. He has... He's figured out the maze. He's not hitting a single trap. What's he doing in here? Okay, let's try to tame him. Maybe he can just do cleaning and hauling. Tame failed, 12% chance. Still good, uh, still good experience though, I guess, right? And if he fights us, well, we'll uh, we'll stitch him up. We'll stitch him up good. We could arrest him, right? We could arrest him and convert him. Twenty percent chance. 30% chance. Okay, let's bring this guy out here. And then Sappy. We 
he refused to be arrested. Oh, it happens. He just refused. I mean, we tried. He was eating my rice. You're not you're not supposed to eat um other people's uh rice, you know. That went as well as expected. Let's well, come on, 30%, 30%, you know? Could have could have worked. How's Wiggins doing here? Wiggins is only 15 years old. Is a teenage space refugee. We might get Wiggins. Wiggins might join. A couple fine meals. Might do the trick. Or not. I don't know. I feel like Wiggins would have joined by now. If Wiggins was going to join, right? We need to uh, block up this uh, infestation area too, right? Try to at least control our infestations. Wiggins already said that they're leaving once they're healed. How do you know this? Oh, it was a message earlier. All oh, right, okay. So Wiggins is just just gonna leave. Um, Wiggins isn't part of any faction or anything either, right? <clears throat> Let's try to arrest Wiggins then with Sappy. Yeah, we did it. Nice. Prisoner. Um, convert. We don't have anybody with social skills. Probably not going to work, but we can still try anyway, right? We have... Uh, Chickadee is a warden. This could be a really good chance for Chickadee to, uh, to practice some socializing, right? Yeah, we lost a bunch of colonists. We got raided. A big sapper raid. People that were armed. It was too much for us. We just couldn't handle it. All right, Chickadee, I look forward to seeing your first big interrogation move. Well, everything is, is, seems to be running like okay. These jobs are slowly getting done. We need some more slate though. It looks like we're hauling in some of this slate. It's just gonna take a while. We just we only got five people, right? Fairly big colony for the amount of people that we have. Go chickadee converter to chickadee's religion? I don't know. Chickadee needs to wake up and actually do something. I think Chickadee's still asleep. Oh no, Chickadee's not asleep. Chickadee should be prioritizing wardening. Wake up Chickadee. Well, look, Chickadee's awake. Chickadee's just playing pool now by himself. Fifteen resistance. Maybe Chickadee will just want to do the the 
resistance stuff instead. Maybe we can't do the convert because chickadee's not part of our ideology. Who plays pool by themselves? Chickadee, I guess. Yeah, Dowie died to a roof collapse again. Whew. It's unreal, isn't it? Okay, Chickadee just went a full day without interacting with our prisoner once. What the hell, Chickadee? What the heck is your problem? She's why. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Watch out. They appear to be unusually clever with their tactics. They'll avoid your turrets, fields of fire, and notice some of your traps. All right. There's a couple of them coming. I think we're okay, though. They're not sapping us, so we should be safe. They're coming right in, though. Oof, oof. Ouch. Yeah, no, they're gone. All right, Wiggins is fully healed. Maybe Chickadee is uh, offended by the nudity. Maybe Chickadee is offended by Wiggins' nudity. Okay, Chickadee did do um, a little tiny bit of wardening. And it's going again. Look at this. Boom. Okay, nice. So, in terms of social, 644 points for those two interactions. <laughs> They're talking about handshakes? That is disgusting, isn't it? Jesus. Oh, man, we really need this bulk uh, goods trade. Like, we, we need to get that, this mod, I think. Let me save and quit the menu and get this this mod. We should have we should have had it before, right? It's so annoying. What's it called? What's the one where more ships pass by? I mean, we've had that built for days and not a single ship has come by. More traders. Um I don't see it. <sighs> oh, hurry. More trader silver. Trader ships. Is it called trader ships? Better traders? Traders have money. More trade ships. More trade ships. Ah, here it is. More trade ships. Increases the rate at which orbital trade ships appear. Can be added or removed without starting a new game. Excellent. Okay. More trade ships. And what was the other one? Replace? Replace stuff. It's called replace stuff? Okay. Common sense. Common sense. Allows your pawns to act smarter. Look up mod settings to know more. Okay, let's see how that, this goes. We'll just add those ones for now, okay? 
More trade ships? Doesn't work with our current uh, game version, apparently. But these ones, it does. It's probably okay. It does work. Okay. All right. More trade ships continued. Oh, is it, did I get the wrong one? This one just works even though it's out of date. More trade ships continued. Okay. Let me just see. More trade ships. More trade ships continued. Aha. Let's go restart again. Don't forget the any mod. I've already got it uh, installed for my uh, my private game. I was sick of it. I was just getting sick of those gross Audi vaginas in my RimWorld games. I had to tuck them all in, you know? Okay, ready? Mods mismatch. File was saved with a different set of mods active than those that we are currently running. This may or may not cause problems. Let's load it anyway. Oh no, my game's corrupted. Replace stuff now will place modded bridges when needed. You can set a preference on which bridge to build in the settings. Sure. Okay, let's see if we actually get some trade ships now. Fucking waiting around for trade ships, honestly. We have all this stuff, like we gotta get we gotta get moving here. Common sense makes them happier with normal size rooms? I don't know if that's the case actually. out here in the dark he's got the he's got the the debuff where he does not like the darkness at all my friend Malmo died imps hunting a treehouse builder a 25 year old treehouse builder named Patty is calling from nearby she's being chased by imps from Tefovi an archer and four breachers if you accept, you'll have to fight off the imps on her tail. The group of imps is composed of an archer and four breachers. This could be pretty tough, actually. It'd be five on five, but they won't go through the traps either, right? And we have no info on Patty? Yeah, the traps are reset, but they, um... But breachers are, are sappers. They must be, right? Unless uh, I'm wrong about that. They're tribal sappers. Which means that they just um, use... They have breaching axes. That's right, yeah. I mean, the thing is, though, they're tribal. So they won't be... They're imps, though. They'll be fire... Bre Ugh, we're just going to have to skip this one. We just don't have enough people. We don't have enough guns. We need more guns for that. We don't even have turrets, exactly. Lost survivors? Three desperate refugees are approaching. Their leader is called Bustranra. And they say they escaped from a slave caravan. 
They want us to stay at Chase's huge butthole for 13 days so they can rest and regroup. All right. 13, 13 days of extra help. Cooking and melee? Oh, social. Very nice. Medical, animals, and construction. Sure. Medical? Child care? Oh my god, man. Nobody has any child care skills whatsoever in our current colony. Uh, warden? Sure. Oh, hang on a second. Handling? Seven? Five? Three. Cooking? Four and eight. Oof. Eight. Hunting? I don't know if they have guns or not. It says they don't have guns, so there's probably not much point, right? Construction six, four, four. Let's put growing and cutting. It's got no skills. No art skills. Um, okay. Let's get these guys on doing some cleaning as well, right? They can help out. They We've got rooms and stuff for them, no problem. Wiggins is trying to escape from prison. Wiggins has just walked out of prison? What the heck? Wiggins has armed herself? Wiggins is just leaving? How does she just leave like this? How does she just walk out the front door like this? Come on, Sappy. Wait, how does she just walk out the fucking front door like that? Oh, my God. I don't... I don't get it. I don't know how she just walks out all of the doors. She had keys? Prison near storage is not it. No, I guess it's not really. I didn't really think of that. Stupid me. I didn't expect um, them to just walk right out. Like, you know, like break the wall and go out this way or, or whatever. But like, what's the point of having a prison? I just walk straight out. Like she was she was outside running running home by the time we could even get anyone down here. Yeah, okay, I get other people done in the past. I still don't understand how it happens. I'm asking you to explain why that happens. Why have a prison if they can just walk right out? They open the door and walk out. Have I considered it's happened in the past, though? Yeah, I have considered it. You guys, you guys, you guys have all the answers except for the the answers that matter. They use the poster trick. <laughs> the uh, what was the uh, what was it was the lady on the poster? Like it was Bo Derek. 
Bo Diddley. Aha. A combat supplier in a ship passing by. We have uh who's the who's the person with social here? Not her. It's Bear. Okay, Bear. Okay, Bear. Components? Go juice. We don't want to sell the mech link. We want to sell all of this old shit, though. Tons of it. There's a Masterwork Steel Warhammer that we don't want to sell. There's a bolt-action rifle good in storage. And a machine pistol good in storage as well. Also a, an LMG. Incendiary launcher? For 56 bucks? Sell this poor steel simple hat. We could buy a flak vest for 134 bucks. We could buy a good cataphract helmet for 1,185. A good recon helmet is worth 841. We can get a plasteel kid helmet. I think we need like a, a charge rifle if they have one right or something reinforced barrel gene pack warm components I don't know what else to get Steel plate armor. Prestige recon armor is three grand. Prestige cataphract armor, good, is 5,644 bucks. Jesus. Boom. Okay. We've also got a bio-coated assault rifle here. Can't use. Okay. So, Yun Yun, fine. Sappy on melee. Uh, what do we have a lot of? Slate. Oh, wait. Need to move weapons out of here, right? Look at all these cool cowboy hats we got. Ah, there's the Warhammer. Sappy. Get this steel warhammer equipped. Chickadee. Equip that. And Teresa. Oh my god, Teresa is useless. Teresa is actually so so bad at, at fighting. And Wiggins. I know. I know. Don't even don't even talk to me about Wiggins. Wiggins is uh, is rapidly becoming the new the new chase. The worst. Okay, Bustrana wants to join. Medical animals construction? Sure. Okay, we're gonna rename this person. Who wants to be... Oh, she's a pyromaniac, I didn't check. She's too smart, she's a fast walker, but she's a pyromaniac as well. Oh, why do I make all these stupid mistakes? Just want more people. Fuck. Fucking fucking idiot. There we go. Here we go. Perfect. His title is Drifter. This asshole is gonna burn down our whole thing.
probably. It's probably gonna happen. <laughs> Thanks for naming him after me. <laughs> uh, no problem. My pleasure. Alright, fucking idiot is all over it. Doing some constructing. Just gotta get fucking idiot killed. Alright. Well, I think, honestly, though, I think fucking idiot has... Nah. Nah, fucking idiot doesn't, doesn't have what it takes. Just doesn't. Do do do. Sandstone wall. Okay. Um, and then structure door. Wooden door. Fell. Just could not press the button. Which room has the sex swings? Oh, good question, actually. I'm not sure. I forgot where I put my sex swings in. room doesn't have sex swings uh, well like not none of them actually we made sure that we installed them in every possible room just love sex swings you take the breachers with the extra help i got now i don't know if i can actually uh available active i think it's too late rescuing port Three pigs, lost survivors, we took it. I think it's gone. I think that, that one's long gone. <laughs> Sorry, I have to crack my knuckles there. Uh, you ever get that, like, pre-crack? Pre-crack, pre-crack itch, where you just feel like you gotta just crack them. Can I crack your ass? It's like a, it's like a trait. Is this like a trait that runs in your your family? Nine nine, your mom asked me to do the same thing. Sandstone wall here. I think we can get to all those spots, actually. So that we don't get infestations. Another combat supplier? Okay. Asses usually have cracks in them to start with. True. It's true. Um, I don't know uh, what else I can sell to these guys. This steel spear masterwork, I think I want to hang on to it. Bolt action. Is there anything I missed? Pump shotgun? Machine pistol? Simple steel hat? I suppose we could see if they got anything that we can buy. Like a samurai helmet. A good charge rifle. We can't afford it though. 1,612 bucks. 
It's a lot of money, huh? We need to start growing and uh, making some drugs, I think. There's a Zeus hammer here. What about an, a an ageless gene pack? Carries the genes to have archites in the bloodstream, which continuously reverse the process of aging. Starting at the age of 13, carriers begin to biologically age slower. By 18, the aging process stops completely. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Where do you get that gene from? Yeah, ageless seems nuts. Who, where do you extract that, or is that just a, uh, just a one that you buy? I can't store it yet, no. I don't have, uh, I don't have the, uh, the things for it to store it. Oh man, okay. You're doing great, Dad. Vibe. Okay, he's dead. Fuck him. Death, fucking idiot. <laughs> Fuck this guy. I didn't even strip him. We just wasted all that shit. But fuck, fuck this, fuck this asshole. And also, we're just gonna bury him in a grave outside. It didn't take. It, it didn't take much here. Look, we're gonna put him right here. I'm putting him in a hole. That's right. Fuck this idiot. Why did why did I accidentally take the the po Hey, these guys didn't really care that I killed their leader though. That's That's at least something, right? Okay, so let's say storage important clear all weapons. Weapons. Mad boom rats. There's only nice. Don't do it. Not yet. Uh oh. Okay, now go. Chickadee's gonna have a major break. Actually, what the heck is wrong with Chickadee? Oh. There's more there's more boom rats. Alright, Chickadee's pretty dead. I didn't realize that there was um more than just these. There's just one out here that is a manhunter. It's this one here. Dead in five hours.
All right, Yun Yun. Let's do this. We got a ten tomb out here. Five hours might not have been enough time to get him back, right? It's just the it's just like the the bad bleeding. Another combat supplier? All right. Oh yeah, that's right. We um we made this not uh part of the home the home area, right? So everybody just went to bed while the fire was still uh burning bright. Um chickity we need chaffinch. You can do it, chaffinch. You can do it. Nice. You know what we should do? I know that we have, like, uh, our, our doctor, like, our, all of our people in this apartment block. But uh, hear me out. Maybe we should build, like, a, a room here for, like, our, our lead doctor so that he can just quickly access the hospital. I never thought to do that before. It's only just now that I thought, man, that's a great idea. You know? All right, let's get fucking idiot loaded in here. Um, I think the cat ate fucking idiot's head off as well. Could have been the dog as well, you never know. And I put the trader next to the ship room before, too. When did I do that? I don't remember doing that. Chickadee is feeling better. I love how our... Um, our accidental pyro colonist lasted two, two minutes. Immediately went on a fire starting spree. And then a 78 year old logger had to whoop his ass. It was for the best. You're right. It was. It had to be done. Okay, we're going to move all of the weapons out of here for now. Put them into this armory instead. <coughs> try to hang on to decent weapons. And then try to get rid of all the bad ones. We'll smelt them. We'll smelt them when we get um, a bit more set up, right? We need to haul in some more slate. We've got a whole bunch earmarked to be hauled. Or we did, at least. I don't know if we do anymore. Maybe they've already caught up with those jobs. There's a bunch over here, but it's harder to get to. This stuff is pretty far away, too, but... We just need a little bit more to finish these floors, right? Keep the chem fuel outside.
Yeah, I'm gonna move it over here. We do we want an orbital can orbital beacons be placed outside? Or do they have to be indoors? Do they screw up if they're if they're outside? Put all the chem fuel in a hospital. That's where it's going to be needed the most. All right, we have to build some. Marble wall here to stop infestations. Oh, they can go anywhere. Freaking chem fuel. <clears throat> I have an obsession with making Dowie the miner. No, no, it just ha it just so happens that he every time we get somebody that we name Dowie, they're just pretty good at mining, and then they get better and better at mining, and then they kill themselves with a the roof collapse. It's not my fault. It's just the way Dowie wants to go, you know? That's how he wants to go down. Storage, important, clear all, chem fuel. And then in these, no more chem fuel. I don't know if chem fuel can melt steel beams. I've never tried it. I'll only believe stuff if I myself have, have tried it before. That's why I don't believe in sex before marriage. <laughs> Inspired surgery, chipinch. We don't have any surgery to do. Autonomous Jubilee opportunity. Okay, no. Oh, man. Fucking arms in my shoulder. Ouch. We need a bulk goods trader would be nice, right? A big, bulky goods trader. Wait, how many... Oh, it's just one component. It's fine. Oh, no. Okay, good. At least he's gone back to his own room to do it. He's not happy, though. He's one angry little fella. It's a girl. <laughs> it's a 15 year old girl, sorry. Aw, oh, shit. Chickadee knocked out the, the power to two rooms. That's unacceptable, Chickadee. Look at all this cleaning up we gotta do. All right, all the chem fuels being moved out of this storage area now too. Should make people feel a little bit safer.
she's depressed. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way to get rid of that. Uh, there's no way to really balance out that trip. Maybe a joy wire or something? Do 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 do. To a double joy, what? One joy wire on each side of the brain. One on the left, one on the right. One on each lobe. Get them on the lobes. Oh. Yeah, Termin ma mailed me, um, Dowie, about the... Um, the dick giveaway stuff. I'm, um, they're looking into it. I don't know what's happened, but it should be back. It should be back soon. I, I chased it. You want a plain white t-shirt with my face blown up on the front? I can't remember the last time we had any merch. We need some we need some some good merch. We need some better merch, you know. Maybe we should get a, a t shirt with just my damn face on it. Make my own merch. The Terry Mug. Royal Tribute Collectors here. We don't have anything to give to the Royal Tribute Collector. How about a t-shirt with a horse on it? That's a good idea. That was the last time I tried to make any merch. What is happening here? What's that? What are they doing? Oh, they're planting more? Oh, I see, because they're because the animals are eating it, so they have to plant more. God, they eat tons. Wait, no, it's dying? I don't know what's happening to it. I don't know what's happening to the dandelions. They've gone crazy. They've gone completely crazy. What are we growing in the animal pen? Dandelions. And we have two animals. We got we got a cow that we're milking and a boom rat that we're milking as well. We're milking two animals on the regular. Mmm. Milky. Wildlife? There's a cougar out there. There's a couple of alpaca. Where are the alpaca situated in relation to the cougar? Where the heck is the cougar? The cougar is there. Let's get these guys out here and deal with this cougar. Nice, we got it. Shelter for aristocrats? Priha Trovatelli, an acolyte of the Broken Empire, wants to stay at Chase's huge butthole for five days with one court ally. You must keep the mood of the Imperials above 25%. The Imperials will not do any work. We got a baseliner. Delicate and volatile, incapable of dumb labor. 
Oh god, volatile and incapable of dumb labor. Oh my lord, man. Maybe we just grab honor, but who do we give it to? Chickadee? We need a new Dowie, yeah, I suppose, but we're not desperate for one. <laughs> Chickadee is the only person we have with any social. If we can recruit Bear, that would be good. Just abduct them to see how it works out. You want the old Dowie? Chickadee, is Chickadee able to handle oh, depressive but industrious? Okay. Whoa. We have to protect them for five days. Enjoy your stay. They're not going to do anything while they're here. They're not going to do any work. All right. Now that the cougar is gone, can go kill alpacas and rams. Get some meat in. I think we might be able to finish this floor pretty soon. Martina's forced landing. The shuttle of the Broken Empire has taken damage and is seeking a place to land. Its commander Martina wants to land at Chase's huge butthole. Wasters from Pest Wasters will attack the crash shuttle site and attempt to kill its occupants. You must defend them. The shuttle contains Martina and two cataphracts. The commander must be rescued. The cataphracts may be sacrificed. Um... Gene pack slow study, side trainer stun, honor plus three, man pest wasters. I know we there's two cataphracts, but still fucking. We're just trying to get on our feet here, right? I don't want to jinx it now. Now that we're like on on the cusp, <laughs> cusp of greatness. Oh, okay, exotic goods, great. Okay, bear, get out here. I don't know what the heck we're going to do when Bear leaves. Okay. Milky, they got some muffalos. They got a dromedary. Neutroamine components. Advanced components. They got five. We can sell all this hyperweave. For a hundred... Ah, that's no point, right? 129 bucks. We got plasteel. The mech link. Reinforced barrel. Gold. We have no art made. They got a far skip side trainer, which is pretty nice. But we'd want to use that in conjunction with a uh, launcher, which pod launcher we're not too too far from, and we have tons of chem fuel as well, right? So we could we could potentially do that, and then we'd be able to send Chickadee to do stuff, and then uh, far skip back. Yeah, skip is really good. You're right; it's incredible. Otherwise, there's not really much else here to take that's good for us right now, you know? Okay. We'll just leave it for now. Have they started hauling this stuff down here? Yeah, they have a little bit, it looks like. It seems like we'll get plenty of options. Yeah. Bulk goods would be pretty good. We can get rid of some of these clothes and stuff and make some money. We need to finish up some of, some of this research as well. We might need to rethink 
actually these guys are just doing tons of other stuff right but actually we can bust them back from priority cleaning i suppose they'll do it anyway though before research now nah, maybe just leave it am i gonna play the new wow patch i haven't played for a while i don't know if i'm gonna bother feels like it'd be just I, I feel like um i do this every time an expansion comes out well not every time because i didn't play shadowlands but um i play for about a month i get really into it and then i get i get kind of bored of it or you know i move on play other stuff and then i it, i just find it impossible to come back to i feel like i'm just like too far behind and you know what i mean like i played four months oh well that's longer than i normally would it's not bad. Four months, pretty good. You played Dragonflight for a whole day. CK3 DLC in a week? What's the new DLC coming out for it? Yeah, WoW is way too much of a time investment. You're right. What do you want for breakfast, Bruce Cooper? Um, why don't you have a, um, why don't you have like a fried egg sandwich? Have a fried egg sandwich. That might be good. It sounds disgusting. What do, you, what do you mean? There's a Game of Thrones mod, mod out for CK3 and it's fucking wild. Really? Bruce Cooper did a whole month long subathon? Holy shit, Bruce. What the hell? Was it really fun? I would never do one of those. It's like too much. You rated him numerous times. Who did? Dowie did. Dowie, did you raid Bruce Cooper numerous times? I did. You didn't see your family for a month, so it was awesome and tons of fun and relaxing? Nice. Wait, what kind of... What, what, uh, what is, what's your family situation? Do you have, like, a wife and kids that you didn't see for a whole month? Is that what you're saying was awesome and relaxing? Bruce doesn't have kids. Oh, it was a bad joke. All right. Oh my God. There's a combat supplier again. I don't know. Maybe they've got some different stuff. They got a kind gene pack. We can't afford any of this stuff. I just don't have the money. Let's sell some drugs. What, uh, which, um, suppliers buy, buy drugs? You buy drugs. Holy crap. Psychoid plants, smoke leaf plants, hop plants. What do we want to? What do we want to plant? Psychoid, and then turn it into uh, flake. Is it flake? Plant some roses. Think yayo is better. All right, we're going to have to have a very strict no drugs policy. Okay, bear, whenever you're ready, let's get him out of the way. Replant this. Um, we're being attacked multiple angles by Wookiees. Okay, everybody. Stay alert. Stay safe. We might need to 
spring into action here. They're attacking. There's not many of them, actually. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. They're going. Oof, oof, oof. Oh. Look at this. Five hours to go. Oh. Very nice. This is a pessimist, psychically dull. Permanent mood effect, minus six. You'll fit right in here, actually. You fit right in. Um, Chaffinch? Alright, now there's not a whole bunch of weapons in our prison. Should be better. All right, perfect. And schedule. Let's get everybody unrestricted. Combat supplier. Twelve medicine. All right, he's gonna make it. He'll make it. Prisoner has twenty resistance. Twelve medicine is huge, you're right. Oh my god, we're almost done this floor. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. At last. Oh, we got the replace thing too, right? So now if I go structure and I go uh, sandstone wall... Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so good, isn't it? It's going to be so easy to replace some of this stuff. We can do some marble wallage here. Let's see what happens when they actually come to do the work. Will they bring... What they need for the first thing and then do it all in one. Oh, they just build it right over top of it without even Okay, this guy's got an infection now. Oh that's so good. Alright, this guy's not going anywhere. That's great. Really good. You can't even play without the replace stuff mod. It's the best. Yeah, it's really good. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised. I wish we would have had this in our last colony. Holy crap! Is this guy going to make it? Yeah, it looks like he'll make it. Probably just. Another combat supplier? Lots of combat suppliers. Maybe too many combat suppliers. Production? Let's make an electric smelter. <laughs> it's the same combat supplier just doing circles. Wee, wee, wee. You're probably right. Oh, we ran out of rooms. One of these royal guys is sleeping on a chair at, 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 in the dining room. Incredible. Sounds comfy? Well, I mean... It's 
That's a lot of marble. You used a lot of marble. Alright, travelers are passing by. Oh. Look at Bear out here. Learning learning skills. Wonder if any of these other guys are gonna want to join us. Prophetic building? For five honor? I mean, it's an easy one to do. Should we just do it for five for five honor? Give it to Chickadee. I don't know if I can be bothered. Last time we built one of these things, Dowie died. Maybe I don't want to do it. What if Do What if Dowie dies again? Yeah, Dowie died. No thanks to those two monuments. The monuments took him out. Okay, smelt metal from slag. Do it forever, but only take ingredients from close by. Zone. Storage, priority, important, clear all, chunks, steel slag. Alright, good. Start hauling some of this crap in. Start cleaning up the map a little, you know? There's a whole bunch out here, too. I think this guy might die. No, he's gonna just beat it, I think. He'll just, just about beat it. What happened here? Oh, um... He didn't finish the gerb. Okay, zone, growing zone. Why psychite, not smoke leaf? We wanna we wanna make hard drugs so that we can sell them for a lot of money. We wanna we wanna do big time drug manufacturing for all the big bucks. We want big bucks, yeah. We wanna be able to finance aspects of the colony, you know? Where's the poker table? Oh shit, yeah, I forgot to make it. Recreation, poker table. We got it we got everything we need for it now. Does it need uh does it need some chairs? People can stand up to play poker, right? I know the rec room is huge, yeah. I wanted to make sure it was really spacious because I wanted them to walk through it and get buffs. Mood buffs. Okay, I failed rescuing port.
Whose port? I don't know. Someone that we didn't rescue. Oh, Teresa, nice. Very nice. Okay. This bill can be dropped on the floor. That's fine. We need another bill to smelt weapons. We want to smelt weapons. We want bio-coded weapons forever, right? Any quality bio-coded. And then we want to smelt weapons forever. Non-bio-coded. That are awful to pour any hit points, right? We get rid of all the crappy stuff. But they also have to be melee weapons, ranged weapons, and then we want to add a thing where we destroy a weapon forever. Details of which non-smeltable, non-smeltable, burnable, bio-coated. And non bio coded. And these are going to be awful to pour as well, right? Or should I just do anything that's like zero? Wait, weapons, uh, weapon degradation, like percentage wise, it do it's not, doesn't give you a debuff to use a gun that's like. 30, 13% or whatever, right? You're not going to get tattered or anything like that. Oh, is it less accuracy? There's a mood, mood debuff for having a crappy weapon. Good night, Christmas crustacean. Weapon percent doesn't matter. Okay. This is a bio-coded assault rifle. Nice. Oh yeah, and then for these bills, drop it on the floor. The only negative is when it breaks in your hands. This is a poor revolver. All right, nice. Bringing in all this slag and stuff too. So this will be a nice little top up of steel, I guess. We've got loads of hauling jobs that are now being done, which is pretty good. We need uh, a little bit more slate. Oh, there's some here. Okay, this shuttle has arrived. Let's get these guys out of here. Pirha. Okay, Chickadee has gained a free holder title. Okay, our freeloaders have left. You might want to disable grenades because they don't have quality, so they always get smelted. 
What's that? Frag grenades? some visitors. This guy is down to 17.6. Bit of a slow burn. Oh, good job, Teresa. Look at that 45 steel. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we'll kill this turkey as well. Oh, bear wants to join. Oh, this is great. He's only psychically dull, but he's got six social. And actually, he's pretty good at a whole bunch of stuff. He's only 18 years old. Except. Okay, welcome aboard, Bear. Very nice, very nice. Bear can do childcare. He's also a pretty good uh, warden. So Chickadee does not need to do wardening anymore. Let's try to get Bear um, somehow converted to our ideology. What does Bear have... He's a, he can do melee or shooting. Okay, he's got a knife on him right now. Let's give him this masterwork steel spear. Nice. Very good. Very good. Does bear shit in the woods? Yeah, we don't have Dub's hygiene, so he probably does actually. Look at all this dye. Look at all this slag as well. Very nice. Okay, good. Not bad. Not bad. Bear is doing growing and planting as well. Yeah, that's fine. He's got uh, he's got the desire to do those things, right? Some cows have joined. Two cows. Uh oh. <laughs> this is a fifteen-year-old cow with fifty-five percent milk fullness. Good to know, good to know. <laughs> um, for this, we want to auto cut. Not dandelions. But we definitely want to cut trees, right? And stumps. So far, better assignment coverage than at any point in the last colony. I know. It takes time, you know. All right. So we got a, a female age. Oh, they're all female, right? No, there's a bull here as well. Okay. We got to slaughter the bull. We could keep the females, but the bull's got to go. We don't want baby cows. Is this one pregnant or this one? Thank God. No, they're not. Uh, this This cow is old anyway, right? Okay, Cheetah is leaving. He'll never forget what we've done. We killed one of his friends. He didn't seem to mind too much, and Bear joined us. More cargo pods. Sure. Let's grab all that. Why not? Quest completed. Oh my god, we... Oh no, don't do it! Oh fuck. 
<laughs> oh man. Wait, which one are we left with? Oh, it's a much younger cow, actually. But uh, maybe it's not so bad, you know. Getting busy. Number one taco. Here you go. This thing trained yet? Oh yeah. Yun Yun has a little doggy here. Doctor New. He can guard and everything. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, the poker table needs some chairs. Okay, furniture, cloth armchairs. How do you put the? How do you place the chairs nicely on this poker poker table? Where where are you meant to put them? If they don't line up. Or do you have to have them all around? Two, 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 and two. Yorkshire Terrier trained in attack? Yeah, yeah, he's ready to go. You can just place eight all around it? It's gonna use up all my cloth. Oh, well, that's worth it, I guess, right? It's a long-term project. Wanderer joins. Cress has a relationship with Colin to see his Chaffinch's son. A slaughterer. He's a jealous gourmand nudist. <laughs> He's a good cook, though. He's got seven social as well. Holy shit. All right. He could do a little bit of child care as well in his nude state. All right, let's put him on this. Handling, he's really good. Cooking, he's really good. Hunting, uh, what? Uh... He's got no shooting. He could learn though. And four melee. He doesn't have to hunt, it's fine. And then let's put him on growing and stuff too yeah that should be fine we can get him to help out with some stuff chase v2 um he uh he'll be upset if he's wearing um any clothing right he's just put a duster and stuff on Constraining clothes. I'm a nudist, but I have to wear these clothes. It's not unbearable, but I still feel constrained and uncomfortable. Take his legs. He doesn't deserve to have them. Do we do we keep our nudist happy or what? Should we keep him nude? He can't really fight, so it doesn't matter much, I suppose. Don't look at his last name. What? What is his what is his last name? Oh no. <laughs> How the fuck? The Dark Prisoner. Grigo Scaleris. High Stellark of the Broken Empire wants you to stash a special prisoner for him. The prisoner, a 37-year-old logger named Oksana Christian, knows embarrassing information about Grigos's body, and Grigos doesn't want her to be freed. You only need to keep the prisoner for 11 days until the scandal passes. Uh, we get five honor for Bear. Since Bear... Oh, yeah, no, Bear isn't very good for this, right? Krez? Krez got seven social and is a nudist and a gourmand as well. Since Krez is jealous, he will demand that the title's privileges be fully respected. Krez may refuse to do certain work types or eat low-class food and will issue decrees. Another colonist would probably be more flexible. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe we just give it to Chickadee instead then. Chickadee's got such low social. It's kind of annoying. So 
So it's Krez and Bear that are both doing wardening now as well, right? Decrees. Yeah, I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know about decrees. Or what that... Like, what if he just forces everyone else to be nude? Or something, you know, and I can't do anything about it? Oh, thanks. No thanks. It is too complicated, you're right. Oh no. It's a volcanic winter. No, no, it, roofs is for toxic, right? This one is just, uh, it's like a really long eclipse. It's time for some hydroponics. Yeah, I think it is, you know. We have a lot of, um... food stored up though we do have quite a bit of food stored oh I don't even have hydroponics researched <laughs> alright let's see how much we can survive bulk goods trader on foot Oh my god, I think this is the first bulk goods trader we've ever had at this colony. It's been that bad. Yeah, we still only have the wooden research bench. We haven't prioritized researching either. Which maybe we should do. Now that we have some more people. We might be able to strip some work back. The crafting side of things for our researchers is probably fine. Construction, cooking. I don't know. They should be doing a little bit of research. I guess they're not getting the time that they need to do it. All right. Who's... Krez just went to bed. All right. Let's send Bear out. Oh. Okay, Bear. Want to buy some turkeys and some yaks? No. No, we don't. Should we just buy a ton of meat? I can't buy any more than that. Meat is kind of pretty expensive, actually. I mean, we, there's, uh, there's animals out there that we can kill already. We got loads of corn. A fair bit of rice. Milk. Hyperweave. We probably need some kibble. Do, 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 do. Plain leather, camel hide, bear skin, alpaca wool, sell all this dye. Oh, we can finally sell some of these hats and stuff. Normal, normal, good. Good. I'll pack a wool duster poor. You think we need to buy some parkas? I can make my own parkas, actually. I can make parkas for people if they need them. If it's going to get cold during the, vo the volcanic um, winter. It's going to last the whole winter. What else should we buy? What should we buy back? Oh. Mm. Bulk goods. Bulk goods with no components or anything. I guess let's just buy some meat. All the meat costs the same. Let's just get a whole bunch of dromedary meat. Alright. Go scoop up that meat. Make some fine meals for people.
<sighs> Plain leather duster. Can Krez convert the prisoner? Uh, not convert, no, but um, can uh, lower the resistance. Slowly over time. Oh, part of me, chat. Sorry for all the yawning. I hope they're not contagious yawns. <laughs> oh man, this he was he was with he came in with Bear, wanted to join first, and I took him on, and I was all excited, and then we realized quickly that he was a pyromaniac because he basically had a break about two minutes after, started lighting everything on fire, so we had to kill him. I need to get a decent night of sleep. Come on, I get like not bad sleep. Like I get like three hours. That's enough, right? Oh, I, that's more than Richard Branson ever gets. Richard Branson sleeps like 10 minutes a day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I get four hours. Farming worksite controlled by Roar Clan of Covebug. That's this guy. This guy is Roar Clan of Covebug as well. Chamber of Animals. All right. Sure. You slept for four hours this night? How do you feel? How, how do you feel after four hours of solid kip? Like shit. You feel like, you feel like, a, like a total, like a shit. You do get used to it. It's true. You really actually do get used to it. Name a colonist, Richard Branson? Name... Name a colonist, Charles Bronson. Ooh, he looks like Charles Bronson. I don't know what these ancient beds turn into when you break them down. Oh, look at all our look at all our stones now. Look at our blocks. All these hauling tasks are starting to come in now. It's pretty good. I don't know if we still have. Um, enough scope to do the research that we want to do volcanic winter can last a, a very long time we'll just have to see if it starts getting too cold out there we might need to grab some uh, parkas and stuff too uh, maybe we should think about killing horses and some of the small crap while it's still here What the hell's chicken you doing to this dog? Failed training in attack. Oh yeah, it still needs a little bit of training. Tame some muffs. Make them into lasagna. Mmm. Mmm. Horse lasagna. My favorite. Do 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 do. Ba -boo 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 -boo. We want a um, a tailor bench. 
an electric one would be good. Let's move this bad boy over here. a high-tech research bench as well. Use up some of the steel, some of these components. some more lights in here too it's quite dark what's a dark torch I don't know I never made one I don't know what they are let's see what the what tomorrow is like in terms of uh, daylight we might have to do an early harvest It's for religions that hate bright lights, aka garage dwelling gamer dads. There's a religion for that. Two hundred steel for this as well. Sure. Wooden shelves. Nice. Bills. shelves. I want more shelves here too. Oh yeah, this can look great. Alright, so on these, and I want to link them. Uh, we want to clear all and we want to allow manufactured textiles mostly. And on these, we do not want any more textiles. I'm going to start moving some of this stuff over. It looks terrible? What do you mean? Well, I mean, I know what you mean, but... Look at how close they are to all the stuff that they need, though. No good? This is going to have not textiles, but apparel. Non tainted on important. It's going to have important as well. <clears throat> um, this is going to be linked and have, <coughs> pardon me, 
unimportant. Clear all raw resources. Plasteel, steel, and uranium. Nice. We're being um, raided. Imps. Multiple angles. Attacking immediately. Alright. Okay, another thing I'd like to stipulate here is that in this storage, we want stuff that is 51 to 100. Normal to legendary only. Everything else can just frick off. Why do we have so many goddamn cowboy hats? Oh, we have so many because the bill that we had for them, for the cowboy hats, we can get rid of now. Okay. Some vagabonds want alms. All right, he's out of here. This guy's dropped a whole bunch of doobies. Chaffinch. Headshot. He's sappy. He's going in. Look at this. Huge dodge. Oh, he's out. He's long gone. Even though he's shot in the head. <laughs> shot his jaw. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Okay. In here. Manufactured drugs. Perfect. Okay. No, he'll. He's got to get a. Uh, he's got to get a denture installed now. What's wrong with Chris? He used a. He used a recreational drug. For medical only. He's been drinking. What a son of a bitch. He's been drinking again. Jubilee of masculinity for smokers. We have all sorts of different people here now. Oh, look, they never finished this job. Maybe we'll get a, uh, or maybe it's because it's half. Maybe we won't get an infestation there. Maybe we will get one, though. Who knows? It's hard to know. All right. We got to mine out some of this stuff. Compacted machinery. I think we're a little low on steel now, too, perhaps. After all these big... Uh, these big new builds. Have I played Project Zomboid before? I have, yeah. We played it a whole bunch uh, not too long ago. We got a little bit of steel. Like the littlest, tiniest bit. Mm. 
All right, nice. We have three components left. This volcanic winter is, uh, oh, the growth rate. Yeah, it's getting darker now, right? Although I think it's nighttime now. So we have done a harvest of stuff. We might need to do a harvest of more stuff. What the heck is going on here? That's disgusting. A harvest of stuff of sorts. Oh, a trade ship. A bulk trader ship is passing by. Nice. You're on it, bear. Do we want goats? They got some huskies. They got uh, mus uh, They got husky males and fe What about a lot of huskies? What if we bought a husky male and female and bred them and we made them do all the hauling everywhere? It'd be good, right? A an army of huskies? Okay, let's get these huskies in then. Um, they got some alpacas. They'll buy chem fuel. Oh my lord. Okay, let's sell 1,500 chem fuel. Let's buy a whole load of components. You can buy some advanced components. Uh, we don't really need them right now. We're really behind on research, right? Sell this. Steel, jade, dye. Sell all this dye. Mechlink reinforced barrel. Beer. Is there anything else that we want from them? Medicine? We'll be able to make our own medicine pretty soon. I think this is fine. Let's go like this for now. Unless we want to buy some... Ah, let's just go like this for now. It's fine. Okay, animals. Husky one. Let's keep you guys in the safety zone. Husky one. Hauling and rescue. Chip cast. Husky 2. Hauling and rescue. Johnny Fairplay. Okay, good. Johnny Foreplay. Here's here's Johnny. I think we got plenty of food here. We need to do some more harvesting and stuff, but... Oh, they're having a party. How's the wood pile going? That's fine, we got a fair bit of wood. We could do with uh, cutting all these plants again. Should net us some more. <laughs> Furniture. 
furniture, animal bed, plain leather. All right, one of the uh, one of the huskies has been trade trained in guarding already. And I wanted to know if I eat ass. Um, well, you know, yeah, I do, but some sometimes. Why? Why does he want to know? When the mood takes me. <laughs> Bold of him and ass. I guess just wanted to know. Sometimes when you gotta know, you gotta know. This is one of those times. Uh, roof zone. Remove roof area. Gotta remove this roof area. Okay, we're gonna assign this to Chipcast and this one to Johnny Fairplay. They can sleep up here by the chem fuel. They'll, they'll love that. Zone the huskies out of the kitchen, uh, out of the freezer? Oh, we got a self tamed muffalo? No way, that's great. Perfect. We got just enough room for a muffalo in here. Uh, make a parka. We gotta sell some of these uh, cowboy hats. Misc, orbital trade. Dowie's a real mystery. What do you mean? Training. Jardim. Jardims. You're in. Congrats, you're a muffalo. You made it. You've arrived. Oh no. What do you mean, oh no? This is going to be the best. You, you've joined us at the perfect time. It's a, it's a volcanic winter. Oh. A forester named Melly is crashing in a transport part, pod nearby. Melly is suffering from paralytic abasia and will be unable to walk. She will recover naturally after many days. There's also a chance of a lucky quick recovery. Paralytic abasia can also be cured by a special operation which requires a large amount of glitter world medicine. She's willing to cr contribute once she is recovered, but will not leave voluntarily if you don't want Melly, you can banish her sell her into slavery or leave her to die however your other colonists may find this disturbing night owl body purist just incapable of firefighting man okay Let's go get her. She's joined. We got another one. It's Melly. 
She'll die soon. And what do you mean? She's not dying soon. She's got some ratty apparel. We need to assign her to the... Oh, shit. Okay, Melly. You can sleep from 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the rest of the time, you can do a little bit of recreation before you go to bed. And then everything else, boom. Anything. That's the night owl. One. Perfect. She's a body purist as well. So she's not going to like having like tons of uh, augments. She doesn't have any currently. Is recreation before bed the, the best? I think it is, yeah, because... Um, the reason I'm saying that is because... Um, for whatever reason, I just started doing it, and I like to assume that everything I am doing is right. Is the best way to do it. And for the most part, across my whole life... That has held true. Normally, if I'm doing something, it's the right thing to do. You know? I just got like a... I don't know. Female psychic suit. Nice. You appreciate the... No problem. My moral compass... My, my moral compass is pointing north. Because if it's pointing south, you know what's south? H-E double hockey sticks. That's what's south. South of, the, south of the beautiful world that we live in. Way down there. Heck. That's right. Is that where you want to go? You want to go to heck? Idiot. Well, buck up your ideas. Start, start reading about the, the good news. Why has my religious streamer lost his mind? <laughs> drug production is done! Oh, let the drugs flow, everybody. This is great. Uh, what do we want to make? Drug production. Psychite refining helps us make flake and yayo. Yayo! Boom, boom, boom! Now let me hear you say yayo! Yayo! I can't wait to make tons of yayo. We have to make sure that we make a drug policy. Select a policy. No drugs. We want to be drug free. No drugs. 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 Work. Oh my god. Melly's got do uh, doctor skills of 10. That's wild. Bed rest. Can do a little bit of childcare. Basic. Doesn't really have great social skills, but could potentially at a push do some wardening. Really great growing and planting skills. And could potentially do a little tiny bit of the old research as well. All right, that's pretty good. Cooking? Two. We could train her up to cook. You're doing great, Dad! We could train her up, you know. Compared to Yayo, Flake gives 33% more silver per leaf for only 7% more work. So we want to make Flake. Flake is the one for us. Oh, Flake is the drug, gotta hold on me. Oh, whoop de doo Can't you see, gotta hold on you. What, um... We can make the drugs back here, right? We don't have enough, um... This is, this will link to a tool cabinet, so that's fine. 
furniture. Cloth armchair? No. Plain leather is... No? Light leather? Shit. I'm so low on stuff. Alpaca? No? Okay. We'll have to make one when we get a bit more leather. Wildlife? Turkey? Raccoon? So many muffalo. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yo, is a lot better to use, though, for my puns. Wait, you want me to get them all jacked up? Is that what you're saying? We want to get them jacked out of their minds. The preacher of chase hate role has been fulfilled. Priority important clear all neutro I mean neutro I mean neuro trainers whoops my bad neutro I mean okay good what is yayo meant to be it's meant to be um white gold it's meant to be um nose nose powder it's meant to be what's some other words for um for cocaine It's meant to be sugar and spice and everything. Hey, look, we almost got Kalurk recruited. Desperate refugees? Six desperate refugees are approaching. Their leader is called Grill. They say their caravan was ambushed and everything was taken. Grill begs you for mission to stay at Chase's huge butthole for six days so they can rest and regroup. In return, they offer to work and fight for free during that time. Sure. <coughs> Six refugees. We're just going to have to give them sleeping spots in here for now. There's an eclipse on top of the volcanic winter now. We lack... Um, let's see, what are these guys going to actually do? Holy crap. There's so many of them. Uh, nine skills, two skills, nine skills, four skills, bed rest, child care, I guess, I don't need any child care, you don't need to do any either, basic, warden, warden, nice, handling, eight, Five, six, not bad. Four cooking. Hunting, I don't know if we have weapons. Construct, grow, construct. Let's not put them on hunting. Mining, mining, not so much mining. Uh, smithing, six, six. Six, pretty good. Art, four. Sure, you can do some art while you're here. Sparkles, holy crap. Ten, nine, six, and eleven. Holy shit. The eleven is us, but three of their guys are pretty good with the old uh, intellect as well, right? Okay, good. There's plenty of jobs to be getting on with, but we might actually be able, able to get a ton of research done. <clears throat> no, I don't have anyone researching. I, I didn't put it on priority. It's, it's, it's low priority. I had, I'd have to get them to not do other things. I know I kind of need to or whatever, but bulk goods. Okay. Let's get bear out here. <sighs> J 
chocolate, carnivore meals, vegetarian meals. I got 1871 cloth. They got 457 cloth. I have one cloth left. I can get more though. Um, steel jade, uranium, plasteel, mechlink, reinforced barrel, more clothes. Bit of gold. A limestone game of ur board. You think I should get that? Should we sell Doctor New for sixty-six bucks? I don't know if Doctor New is is well. I guess it can get mood boosts from Doctor New, right? If you have a if you have a big cuddle with Doctor New. Oh yeah, I need to sell all these cowboy hats. You're right. All right, for four hundred and forty-seven bucks. Okay, let's chop some wood inside the base it is it's four degrees outside who knows maybe some of these people might want to join us i feel like we're, we're close now to being able to get some decent um guns and stuff right but well, we need to do some mining we need to go mine some steel find this gold while we're out here too it's a bit more machinery here another bulk goods trader two back-to-back -back bulk goods trader how are these huskies doing no hauling training Guarding is all done. Tameness is done. And a little, and one out of two rescuing. It's pretty good. Melly needs some new clothes as well. All right, add a bill to make smoke leaf joints. No, we want to make our own medicine as soon as we can, right? Mining. All right. We'll get this uh, this other guy on uh, on researching, right? So he doesn't really do anything else. And then we can smash out some of these researching tasks. Okay. Flake and Yayo, done. We want to now be able to do uh, hydroponics medicine production. Oh, yeah. And then turrets. We want turrets as well, right? No, I haven't researched tree sewing yet, 99. I uh, researched auto doors for the uh, freezer though cuz I think that I think they're it's it's better to keep the uh, the cold in, right? Oh, I need to put one here. I can do it now though. A structure, auto door, steel. I got the replace mod. Oh. Oh no. 
I don't want all this stuff in here. I just want food on those shelves. Uh, the, the dogs are eating all the baby food. <laughs> dogs out of there. Cargo drop event? Where? Did I miss it? It's so foggy. Uh, this We've always got this guy as well. I don't know why... I don't even know if we really want him now. Maybe, I guess it's more more people to haul and stuff, right? He's got, like, um, no combat skills whatsoever. Oh, it's where the baby food came from was the cargo drop event. Is it? Didn't uh, some raiders drop a bunch of baby food as well at one point? I thought that was the case. Wildlife. It's a risky. It's a risky proposition. Attacking a muffalo. We'll have to babysit our man here. It's a 10% chance. Oh god, it really retreated quite far. It's d it's dead in five hours. Uh oh. Oh, chickadee, what a shot! Okay, perfect. this cooking Jesse it's time to cook okay let's get two more of them Shooting 14, it's pretty pretty nice. What's Chickadee shooting at? Five, okay, he's learning. Gotta get it over 10. Get him a better gun as well. Nice. Very nice. Look at all the wood we have. Jeez. Jeez. It's only four degrees outside. What's this? An unfinished blue for a duster. Nice. Can I please name a colonist after William Howard Taft? <sighs> okay, sure. I'll do it. One of these muffalos has gone mad. Stay safe, everybody. Wait it out. This is the last thing we need. Hey, is volcanic winter uh, on its way out or what? It seems to be getting better. We've had it for 9.4 days so far. But look, it's getting a bit, a bit brighter. Maybe it's on its way out. He's no longer mad.
You love a volcanic winter? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Storage? Raw resources? No wood in here. We don't want wood in here. We can help it. Betrayal off. Danny's offering another betrayal offer. <laughs> he wants to give us good recon armor. He will send you the following re reward if you kill all members of Southwest Finvane for a total value of 1930 bucks. <laughs> Danny, I can't do it. I'm I need them. They're doing a lot of work for me here. They're only here for 6 days. We got to we got to we got to make the most of it, you know? Come on, Danny. Don't make me do it. Put them all into a room and turn the heater to max until they die. <laughs> Can you fucking do that? <laughs> They're just sweating bullets in there. Oh my god, it's so hot. but we don't want uh, armor. Armor and headgear. Or utility. But in these, let's get headgear, armor, and utility. Apparel. Perfect. It's like more of more like an armory then, right? Mibupol coalition is attacking immediately. It's pigmen. Is anybody caught out there? Nope. I don't even think we need to defend this. Ouch, 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 oof, ow. Thirty-four neutral, I mean, nice. Okay, good. This guy's just limping away. He'll be dead in five hours' time. Whoever's playing that guy is just like, Oh, fuck this game. Fuck you, Randy. You, you fucking done me again. I gotta walk all the way home. I'm gonna die on the way home. You never seen Raiders bringing Neutromine? Raiders, I think it was a, a like a... Not a super recent change, but... one of, In one of the patches, they introduced this concept that there's like... A boss for each raid or there's somebody that's carrying like you know a reward so it's not just like them dropping guns and armor and shit like that you know you you occasionally get them you know somebody will drop like a wad of silver or like you know neutramine or something you know maybe the reason sappers are hardest because i completely rely on my murder hallway for everything all right Kolurk has joined. Alright. We gotta put this guy to work. He's not a very good doctor, it turns out. He's also not very good at childcare. He can do basic stuff. Excellent at handling. He won't do hunting, but that's fine. He doesn't need to. He can grow. He can plant. And he can do some of this. Some intellectual pursuits. 
I think this volcanic winter is, is out of here soon. Look at how bright it is. I don't think I have enough beds. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's give him... Dor Doro Bacroy, I had no idea why this has happened. So we're going to give... Oh. We're going to give it to Kolurk. Oh my god. This guy saw five rotting corpses and he's just having an almighty meltdown about it. Look at how quickly we reassembled the murder hallway this time. Remember in the last colony, one of the problems we had was it just took forever to get it rebuilt, but this time we're on, we're on top of it big time. It's working out a lot better. Blue's having a tantrum. Blue, don't you dare. Blue just knifed one of my good chairs. Cut it to shreds. Because we never had any wood. Hunted elephant. Damian Comenesos, a baroness of the Broken Empire, is making a request. She wants you to take care of her favorite pet, the elephant Jane, at Chase's huge butthole for 12 days. Jane is a gift promised to Damian's child for a marriage ceremony. To try to prevent the marriage, Roar Clan of Kovbug sending Gitakin after. If you accept Jane, there will be two raids of strength two times and roughly this size. 20 scavenger thrashers. <laughs> oh my god. We get Remy Persona Plasma Sword. Excellent. Valued at 3,500 bucks. Yeah, this is a completely the end. I mean, I don't think the murder hallway even stops one of these raids. And then we have nothing at the end of the murder hallway to, uh, to back it up either, right? It's just a, it's it's a it's a no go. We got to build up a little bit more before we start doing some of that stuff. I can't save the elephant. It can't be done. This is an awful sculpture. <laughs> Poor. Okay, there's a normal and a good though. get some more some more stuff in here the research is happening Teresa is doing it Doro Doro Bacroy Doro Bacroy Doro Bacroy someone put a lot of time and effort into that sculpture well you know what you know what I say to that I say fooey. I say fooey to that. Fooey. Ah, fooey. I think it's like they used to say that in like, um, you know, like it's like a Popeye thing. I think Popeye used to, used to say that. Ah, fooey. Floors. Fair of human opportunity. Oh man, we don't even have a um uh, a a preacher of of chase hate. We need to get one. What what's my pastor gonna think about me saying off oh, fooey? Well, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna say, listen, Pastor Ron. It's time for you to, to join the 21st century. It's 2023. And uh, if it's good enough for Popeye, it's good enough for me. I could almost like make a Christian rap out of that. It rhymes. Pastor Ron loves secretly loves curse words. He's, he does, yeah. 
It's his like uh, it's his it's his secret passion, the passion of Ron. He loves cussing. He's like uh, he's like uh, what's his face, the Trinity Killer, on um, on Dexter. You know the scene I'm talking about when he's at the dinner table with his family, and his wife dares to speak. You love cussing as well? John Lithgow. John Lithgow. Spoilers. Man, it's like season three of Dexter. D Dexter has been off the air for like ten years. <laughs> Master Ron wears a gym suit under his robes. <laughs> oh, man. Pastor Ron is stark naked under his robes. Except for he has a cross to cover up his dingus. That's it. He's got a th he's got a thong with a with a diamond encrusted cross on the front uh, to cover up his dingus, but he does not cover up his ass cheeks. <laughs> his dingus is what is covered. Yeah, it's fully covered. He's wearing a chastity cage. <laughs> Chalk strap with some devil horns on it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Stop it. Stop it. I'll get too excited. Just thinking about it. I need some, uh, some slate. Oh, fuck. We need to get deep drilling soon, right? I kind of can't believe that this colony is still alive, even. Randy's taken, uh, taken a, uh, a little vacation. He's not... Look at all the people coming out here to grab this. They have so little to do. Jeez. Oh, it's great, though. Oh, my God. When's the last time you queued up an order and then half of your... your dudes just started working on it straight away? Uh-oh. Milky's got the flu. Another bulk goods trader? I don't know what we actually have this time to, to sell. We got these awful statues, I guess, but... Zone? Stockpile zone? For now, let's just put clear all, important, and we want... Um, art. Okay, we got a lot of steel now. Lots and lots of steel. Do you know what? I don't really like this either. But I started doing it and I just thought, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do it. But I don't actually like it at all. It, it, is, it has made me a, a little angry. It looks, it does look like an anus, you're right. Still Warhammer Masterwork? Who dropped this? Kolark uh, has terrible shooting and melee. Krez? Why does Krez have so much beer on him? Okay, bear. Oh, it's uh, Sappy who dropped it, right? It's going to pick it up. It was Sappy who had it all along. Sappy is... I think Sappy had a social fight. Okay, bear. Get down here. Let's call these guys. We'll sell this awful art to them. Anything else we want to sell to them? We get a rooster and a hen. We could sell Jardims for almost 200 bucks. Still got a lot of chem fuel that we could sell. Cloth, white leather, plain leather, blue fur, alpaca wool, steel jade, uranium, plasteel, mechlink, reinforced barrel, wood, poor cloth sash, a blue fur parka. Yeah, sure, let's just sell this stuff. Who cares? Oh, this mod is so good when you get more. Um, more trade ships. Sucks sometimes having to wait around for the trade ships, huh? So this stuff is 
the growth rate's 20 percent so this the volcanic winter is affecting us but it's not it's not severe right it's not too bad we have loads of food we do have to cook some more though um listen i gotta go it's late what's tomorrow thursday i'm around i think we're doing something with ravs for a bit and then we'll play more of this and uh tonight i should be around as well we can carry on with this colony see if we can um see if we can actually um win with this one probably not but we'll try anyway right does everyone have a bed one two three four five six seven eight soon to be nine because we're going to have Melly when Melly is not uh, so we might actually need to start making the other apartment block or moving um, getting a doctor um, room down here see if they can all die to a massive mech raid shit that reminds me we got to get mortars and stuff too right all right, listen, um, we'll call it there. I'll be back in a bit. I'll be back in a bit. We'll play some more. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll play some more as well. So um, whenever, you, uh, whenever you want, I'll be around. Sort of. Yes? Oh, I fart so bad. We had a, a huge setback today, but I, I feel like we've recovered from it. Um, Dowie died yesterday. We lost Giso, Abigail, and Liz, that's me earlier um and we also lost uh malmo as well <laughs> malmo died as well <laughs> so we lost four people today oh man yeah pour one out for malmo for sure malmo died in a tragic friendly fire incident uh that pierced her heart Oh yeah, and fucking idiot. We had to kill fucking idiot as well. Fucking idiot died and we buried him at the uh, entrance of the uh, murder hallway. So five. We lost five. Five today, but we've we've somewhat recovered, I think. Yeah, fucking idiot did get what was coming. Yeah, you're, you're right about that. He deserved it. All right, chat. Listen, uh, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And thanks for the uh, support as well. Thanks for the subs and resubs. Thanks for the donations. I hope you had a nice day. Thanks for watching the hashtag ad before too for the uh, for the casino game. It looked pretty fun. It, I mean, we only played it for like two hours, but it seems like a fun one. Like it, it was like it felt like a bit like uh, Evil Genius, maybe like Two Point Hospital or something like that. But you you run a casino, and uh, I managed to drive my casino into the ground by hiring too many bartenders. So if you're thinking of starting up a casino. Don't hire too many bartenders. They're expensive, it turns out. Yeah. All right, chat. Um, I'll be back soon. I'll see you later on, okay? LOL, lots of love. All right, peace, chat. Thanks very much. Bye now. Bye.